Why, hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Alkestria. I wonder if I should think of a fun, snazzy name for this. I stick to alliteration too frequently, so I don't want to call it like the Alkestrian Almanac or something silly like that. Anyway, let's hop into chat and say hello to our wonderfully fine folks. Hello. Hello. I have returned. We have Al a wonderful Alkestrian Almanac. Sounds dumb, by the way. It it does. Yeah, my 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 name, my brain just goes like, ah, what's another A word? I don't know why Almanac came in first. There's oh, so many other words. You're so cute. I like you. I'm adorable. Thank you. Feed my ego. What could go wrong? Nothing yet, thank God. No, just don't. Nothing don't yet. <laughs> just, <laughs> just don't feed my ego after midnight. And you'll be fine. Uh, exactly. Or get it wet. Yet. Don't get my ego wet. Okay. Speaking of getting it wet, we're checking zombies and a stop. and a big puddle. <laughs> Why do I move this thing? Actually, the drawing. It's a drawing. Never mind. I've yeeted it into a uh, under plane of existence. Devoid. Indeed. Alrighty. Uh, Vega. <laughs> uh, so, Vega, you have your two stacks of wounded. Uh, Kane is near death. Arbalus is doing just fine. <laughs> I haven't been touched. <laughs> you the did... advantage of being a ranger. <laughs> In indeed. Uh, Kane, the advantage of being ranged, except one thing looked at you the wrong way, and then your health just went, ooh! Uh, I mean, I'm ranged-ish. I got like 30 feet. Yeah. True. That's a lot. Yeah. Wow, you must be really fast. Alrighty. He's an elf. He has 30. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Alrighty. So, we'll just pick things back up right where we left them off. Dude escaped, the zombie exploded, and the big one melted. Dude literally walked through a wall using, I don't know, zombie arms. It's an interesting technique, I guess. My favorite. Basically plucked out his eye and then got sucked into the ground via, yes, zombie friends. And you have his eye Man. in a bag. Considering Kane has out uh, inside ropes, I'm sure he'll also learn how to walk through walls using zombie arms. Inside outside ropes. Oh my god! Inside outside ropes. I hate you both. I mean, I can bring the outside ropes out. The inside ropes, I can bring them out. It is a it is a cantrip. Oh. It's not. What about bringing the outside ropes in? Uh, we don't do that. Once the ropes are out, they stay out. Do they have to be your ropes? No. Yeah, I mean, there's a zombie right behind you, dude. It's one of the bottle now, I it? like I like my ropes better though. I oh, pull out my ropes right next to Mega. That's fair. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I will try to shove them back in. That's how that works. <laughs> I don't think that works. <laughs> it won't stop even trying. I'm a little, I'm a little woozy from blood loss over here. I like wrap myself in them and then try to give you a hug. <laughs> Come here, Vega. <laughs> nope, back away. It's hug time. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. They're locally they're sourced, just at least. Some ropes. <laughs> locally oh, sourced really ropes. Source. Come back. They're just ropes. <laughs> Come back. Arbalus, do you want a hug? Uh, if that's what you're into, sure. Vega, come here. Wow, so calm. Oh, no! Damn. Deny. <laughs> when a hug, sure, runs to Vega. <laughs> a single tear. <laughs> this is fine. Alrighty, well, they're... <laughs> I'm, I'm too mysterious and dark. <laughs> just, just whip your hair. That way we can't see it. Whip my hair. Alrighty, while they're playing grab ass, uh, what are you doing, Arbalus? I'm looking at this zombie. What's so special about him? Excellent. I mean, he had a violin, I guess, but... Uh, indeed, indeed. He doesn't seem very special, but there is a one thing that you recognize instantly in the pile that was the zombie, and that is a blue necklace. It is wrapped around one of his hands that was ejected from his body after he exploded. All right. Hey, is this the thing we needed to find? Probably. Oh, sweet. I mean, it was a blue necklace, right? Why does he have it? I don't know. This doesn't happen to be his uh, or her late husband, I guess. Does it look like someone that she would have liked? That question would have been easier to answer pre-explosion. Fair nice. point. They're also super dead, so regardless, very hard question to answer. Well, that makes you want to put him back in his grave. Do you have a bag? <laughs> I mean, was uh, her husband like a violinist or something? Nope, I have no idea. Is there anything special about the violin itself? No, it is uh, mostly also destroyed both through the magic and the fall. It seems like a relatively normal violin, um, in, in terms of, like, build quality. Nothing special. Well, I'm not gonna loot dead guys. That's a bit, uh... I, I assume that's still, you know, frowned upon. <laughs> Looks around. Um, yes, it is. Uh, right. quick question. 
the number of zombies we killed, do they match the number of d- dug up graves we saw? It's very close. And on that topic, uh, two things. Each of you go ahead and gain one hero point. Uh, there's multiple ways to do that. You can left click usually adds, right click normally takes away. And I did the math. Each of you get 340 experience. Boop. Did I use a hero point last time? I can't remember. I'm not sure. You probably have two, maybe close to three. Yeah, I, I want to say I, I was the only one who used it. I think I rerolled something, but I'm not sure. Possibly. Regardless, you get you get one more. Congrats. Yeah. And the nice thing is you can see them in your utility window. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if I used mine last week is the question. I removed it, so. Yeah. All right, besides that, the zombie down here doesn't really seem very interesting. Just super dead. Well, I give the necklace to Faker. I will take it and pocket it. What about the other guy? Point to the big bottle. Um, I'm done touching that thing. What's wrong, Vega? Wasn't <laughs> and, he fine? <laughs> and then I want to grab the zombie and uh, carry him out. Which part? As much as I can grab in, in one go. I'm going to assume you have a bag on you because the logistics of moving pieces of a corpse is pretty gruesome. I mean, they're probably all dried and shriveled, right? Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> I mean, this, is, this, this isn't a fresh zombie, right? It, uh, for your uh, sanity, we'll say that the big boy was a nice wet sopping zombie, and this is a dry boy. I hate you so much. The, it's, it's okay, the juicy one's now a puddle, so you're safe. Oh! Sorry, you've already eaten part of it. <laughs> you want to go swim in the puddle? I don't Punches think you. Enough. I mean, you can you, you hit this armor. <laughs> you can, like... I'll punch real hard. Aw. Uh, blank. Alright, yes, I, I will grab the corpse. I don't care how to shove parts into a, a bag, whatever. Just pretzel them up. And I'm going to go and bury it. Alrighty, there are plenty of holes to bury him in, so that is up to you. Uh, do the two of you look at the puddle, considering Vega doesn't really want to touch it? <laughs> yes. I mean, we can look at the puddle. I don't want to, but... I prod it with a stick. Alright, as you're prodding with a stick, uh, one thing you notice instantly is under a lump of flesh... There seems to be a weapon sort of lodged in there. It looks to be a fairly healthy-sized dagger. Ooh, free loot. Like, I'm not gonna stick my hand in to pick it up, I guess. I'm just gonna try to wiggle it out with my stick. I, say, I have my inside ropes. Can I, like, attach it to my inside ropes? How? The <laughs> oh, they're not, no. they're not the hard! <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure they're sticky, or is that just for me? Uh wow. That's just something else, isn't it? <laughs> That's, uh... No, never mind. I don't want to. Does it say they're sticky? I mean, I assume they... Because they help me attach to walls if I want to use them like that. Okay, I, I was uh, wondering it's if It's only it, for me, though. Okay, I was wondering if it uses the word sticky in the spell description. I was gonna go, hmm. No. Okay. It just uses squishy. Squid, yeah, I saw that word. <laughs> uh, you, you guys are able to stick it out if you want. You guys can poke and stick, and you're not currently being attacked. So, yes, you are indeed able to uh, move this thing out. And when you do, uh, you realize that it's, it's a fairly well-made dagger. Uh, the main thing that you notice is there's a large black onyx engraved into the hilt. Ooh, fancy. I mean, surely you have, like, a jug of water or something on me, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, Vega, v- you're still in the room, right? Um... Only if it took me that long to pick up all the parts. I mean, it's going to take you a minute, yeah. Then yes, I guess I am. I may have blown, uh, blown it into smithereens. B- blown what to smithereens? The corpse you're currently picking up. He shot it with an arrow and uh, a... I see. Kane nuked it with some lightning, so... This, this poor ex-person. Ex-person. Well, it's definitely out of your way, Vega, but you would recognize this weapon as belonging to someone in your guys' guild. Oh, hey, that disappeared three months ago. How did it get there? There's also belonged to that guy that disappeared. So this is where he ended up. Oh, you were man. decently familiar with him. So yes, you would recognize this. Who are you walking by with your bag of man as Omen's weapon? <laughs> I'll guess I'll steer the, the bottle a bit more, see if I can find, I don't know, human remains. While you do, a lot of the bone kind of melted down into somewhat of a jelly. It's very difficult to determine... There's humanoid remains, definitely. There's smaller bones. Some of them have just completely turned into... They basically like form like with the liquid, similar to a jelly. Uh, it, touching them makes them like, fall apart. Whatever magic was holding this thing together seems completely vacant. 
and it's further decomposing as you're sitting here. Uh, while you're stirring through it, you actually find one other a very strange item amongst the mix. Uh, it seems to be a long, I want to say about 10 inch long, uh, red needle, very similar to a porcupine quill. Uh, how long? About 10 inches. Have I ever seen something like this before? Nope. Are you over there looking at it with them? I mean, I am now. You want to touch my inside ropes? Uh, I will kick your leg because my hands are full. Ow. She's literally carrying a bundle of like (laughs) giblets. Yes. They're dry giblets, though, so you're good. Why can't I hold all of this person? I guess we should bring that back for inspection, but I don't want to touch it. You could probably do some kind of check to it, right? Arbalos is not going to because he has no memories of his past. That is her. Oh, on that note, I was going to remind you of something. Uh, so recall knowledge isn't necessarily literally recall knowledge. It can also function as kind of looking at the enemy and gauging their weaknesses. Just so you know, it's just called yeah. recall knowledge. Uh, so who would like to pick it up? Those are the only two things you find. A dagger with a black onyx in it and this long red, basically porcupine quill. I mean, at this point, I'm already cleaning the dagger. So I might as well pick up the quill as well. And as you do, you realize that it is definitely very firm. Unlike everything else in this creature that effectively melted down, this feels like a piece of stone. Uh, But upon closer inspection, it looks organic. I wonder what creature this came from. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll figure it out later. (laughs) When we're not in a crypt with dead things, hopefully. Yes, yes, please. All right, I'm going to... What's wrong with dead things? I'm going to put it in your inventory, and it's going to uh, basically show up as an unusual object. I think you have the ability to identify it. Uh, if you do, don't don't click it, please. <laughs> there. So you have something called unusual object in your inventory. So under normal circumstances, yes, I would give you guys a potion. It would be unusual potion. Then you can click on it, and it'll tell you what to roll. And if you succeed, yay. If you don't, it's, it's who knows? It's liquid. It's wet. But this one in particular, you have no idea what it is. Are you sure the liquid is wet? In most planes, yes. All right, not after, in all of them. Not in all, correct. We'll find a plane where water is not wet. And your blood isn't wet either. That's dangerous. So... Oh, God. <laughs> we're, we're made of both those things. I really need those in my body. So, after you collect man, after you collect... S- I almost said sword. I guess sword for like a no, I'm sure. Uh, and spine. What do you guys do? Throw my inside ropes at Vega. <laughs> I dodge and start walking away. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Do one day. Back to the surface, I assume. You know what? Yes, I help. I help King throwing the rope from the other side. That's what you got. <laughs> uh, duck, dodge, dive, dip, and uh, dodge. You're slapped it gently by the rope, but you're able to dodge it. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, King <laughs> does have the uh, the light, so you kind of need him to get out, unless you just use your. Nope. Rope. I'm just gonna. Kane and I are basically on opposite sides of her, making her play jump rope with the inside ropes. <laughs> That's so cursed. I'm just going to charge straight in, regardless of what I ram into. All right, fortunately, this is a very short way, and there are some candles light your way, so it's actually not that bad. You, you can Hold see where around. Was it a, a dagger with a black opal or black onyx? Uh, black onyx. It's, uh, it's diamond-shaped, so... Two triangles giving a kiss on their flat plane. All right, I assume all three of us exit. Oops. Alrighty. No, I live here now. That's fine. I won't stop you, friend. Alrighty. This is now the King Crypt. Yep. <laughs> this is where I live. All mine. All right, loading way. Uh, as you guys do, uh, Vega, you have to find a big brain way to carry this satchel and also go up a somewhat crickety ladder, but you are able to do so. Uh, obviously followed by Arbalist and Kane. For- I-, I guess, unfortunately for you, Vega, you are prime, absolutely prime for being slapped as you're going up this uh, ladder. By the ropes, of course. Upgrade this more often. <laughs> I pretend there's no ropes there. <laughs> pretend there's no. If- That's fine. There's no ropes. Suddenly, you just you, it's it's a it's a kitten. It's a small kitten. <laughs> no, it's not a kitten. Then it's, it's a very wet and squishy <laughs> kitten. <laughs> you know, if you bite into them, they disappear. Oh yeah, he's not wrong. <laughs> it's a kent rope. Yeah. Definitely, sure, if you damage them, they go bite away. In, bite into my inside ropes, sure. <laughs> you want to buy my ropes? No, thank you though. No. All right, Vega, uh, I assume you were trying to escape with the utmost haste, so you would indeed be out first. Fortunate for you. 
Uh, we can. It's actually really interesting. The torch reacts to the fog around it, so it ends up being brighter, weirdly enough. I don't know how that works, but I thought that was kind of dope. So anyway, you are the first to kind of pop out the of here. The fog is brighter or is it brighter because of the fog? It is brighter because of the fog. It's very strange. When the fog isn't here, it's relatively bright, but when you turn the, the lantern on and the fog begins to roll in, it like slowly gets brighter around Kane. Really weird effect. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Foundry can do so many odd things. If I wanted that to happen, cool. If I don't, please stop. So anyway, you all... I know, right? <laughs> you all ascend the ladder. Uh, and when you do, Vega, just a... Uh, 50 or so feet from where you're currently standing, uh, you do see another undead kind of roaming about, and they're looking near this statue. Uh, I will groan and drop my bundle. Uh, before you're able to drop your bundle, you actually hear a shout coming from just north of where you are, and suddenly a great light strikes upon this foul fiend. Wow, you rolled really well. I'm not supposed to recognize that spell, do I? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to line up with no, but you do know it comes from somewhat of a holy source. And as this thing is turning, you can see that from neck to the middle of its chest, it was like split open and light is coming forth from it. Uh, suddenly a blade goes hurling from the same direction as another shout emanates from that direction. This time cleaving the creature's head clean off. The blade flies past the corpse and boomerangs back to where it came from. And you hear the clopping of a horse. It, wait, is the zombie dead? The zombie is dead, yes. As a rider comes around the corner. Dead again. Hey, nice shot! Oh my god. Is that a unicorn? They, oh my god, is that a unicorn? They turn to you and look, and you very much see this individual is indeed riding a unicorn. <gasps> yes, that's how, this, that's how the unicorn sounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you were in this world. What? Of course, of course there's unicorns in this world. What? Do you not remember where this unicorn came from? No. Why? Wait, wait. Is this the little kid? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I forgot about the little kid! <laughs> Husband, that almost went over my head. <laughs> Unlike the zombie. Shut up. Uh, this individual turns to you, and uh, they kind of cock their head to the side, and so does the unicorn, and they say, Oh, hello there. Hi. You're new to town. I don't recognize your face. Uh, yes, I'm currently just swinging through. Did you all just come from below the Citadel? Yeah, why? We killed a monster. Wait, a Citadel? It doesn't look much like a Citadel. Oh, well, I was told it was one, but yeah, you're correct. It looks uh, quite pathetic, actually. And then they move up closer and the y unicorn just kind of... <laughs> yeah. Huh. And he kind of scratches behind the, uh, the ears of the unicorn and he looks at you, the three of you, and they say... What exactly was going on down there? Was there a robed figure, perhaps? Raising the dead, yeah. yes. How did you know? Ah, well, curses, I've been tracking said figure. Were you able to slay them? Nope, he got away. He uh, left, left behind, left this behind his... Yeah, my ball. I'll throw the eye to him, I guess, in the satchel. Uh, this individual snatches it up, looks in, and kind of nods and just throws it back to you. I have no need of that, but... Thank you all the same. Shame they got away. I've been tracking them for quite some time. Ah. And they look very, like, just distraught, like, ah, bless. Okay. This is a shame. Well, they're desecrating the dead, so I kind of have to go hunt them down. If they were here a short while ago, they couldn't have gone far. Surely. Ah. Well, good to know. Honestly, the, the three, three of you assisting me in this way, I'm not really sure how to thank you. I... Effectively just arrived, I was wondering why there were so many of the uh, undead already, well, dispatched. If I could thank you all with some drinks, possibly, back in Torello. Drinks? Sounds great, but... Uh, to that. I'll pick up the bundle of dead things. We have to bury these first. Oh, of course, of course. I'll be in town for about a week or so, and then I have something, well, very pressing to take care of now, apparently. But yes, of course. How do we can inform some grave diggers to rebury all these people? Vega? Well, then at least let me drag the bodies back. Yes, I see you're carrying one with you. Poor guy. Ah, indeed. Realistically, I can notify the local church and they should be able to take care of this. Uh, while it is quite nice of you to uh, bury that one individual, they motion around themselves and say, well, there's uh, quite a few. 
There it is. But do I have any reason to think this might not be the husband? You are you honestly not sure? I'm kind of attached to it being the idea of the husband. <laughs> attached to the corpse. I mean, it had the weird amulet thing, and that's the it, only thing it, you can it, go by. Exactly, yeah. It seems a bit of a coincidence. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bury this one. This one's kinda special. Don't mind me. That's perfectly fine. I won't stop you. Uh, by the way, when you do reach town, uh, ask for Bren. Uh, Starburst here will most likely, well, not being the stable's friend, but uh, he has ways of traveling. And he's like, yeah, uh, sure, whatever. Okay, uh, how common are oh talking voices? Listen, I don't make that much of a mess. They could just let me into the end, but, you know, rules and all that, whatever. <laughs> I, I mean, you are a talking horse, sir. Uh, in- indeed, but I am also not a horse, as I'm sure you uh, kind of points the horn at you. Uh, close enough. No, not close enough. Do Do you seriously think I'm a horse? (laughs) Can I ride you? To be fair, I've never seen a creature like you before, so I don't know. No, definitely not. You don't count, Arbalest! Just because I don't have any memories doesn't mean that I don't remember what There's no way in hell you've never ridden a horse. I honestly don't know. I can't hear you! I know what horses are, though. (laughs) I'll start shouting louder. (laughs) (laughs) I'm busy! See you at that, uh, that bar! Yeah, oh, it's yeah. called, uh, it's called, uh, Frisky Biscuit, by the way. Interesting oh, choice. Gain, what? Brent shrugs and just kind of gives you guys a, a quick, uh, a quick bow and a laugh and says, Well, I'll, uh, I'll meet you all there then. Like I said, I'll, no rush, I'll be here for about a week or so. Uh, just ask for me and, like I said, drinks on me. Oh yeah. shit, I forgot, his grave is up here. Where are you running to? Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're still back here. Perfectly fine. Uh, and with that, the individual rides off toward town. Rides? As in ride starburst? Uh, yes, they are on the oh horse. Oh my. What are you thinking of? All right, there are multiple, uh, yes, he's, he's not walking next to him. So there are multiple open graves, but you do know uh, one that is Vice Henner. You can definitely bury them there if you want. Yes. These are the wrong corpses. <laughs> we'll worry about that later. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, the priests and the grave diggers can have fun with that. To be fair, she's only burying one, so we don't need to play, uh, I almost said Tetris, I don't think you play Tetris with the bodies. We don't need to play match. Tetris is close enough. Yeah, I mean, if you, I mean, <laughs> if you're out of real estate, yeah. You know, put the L-shaped corpse in the L-shaped grave. I mean, rigor mortis. Tetris. Rigor mortis is a thing. Oh my god. So I, I hope he doesn't still have liquid rigor mortis after, like, months, if not years. Indeed. Alrighty, and after you, uh, quickly bury the body, uh, Vega, I assume you guys will head back to Trello? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, so thanks to uh, Mr. Seth, I decided to just grab that old map. And no, the scaling isn't perfect because it's still a little blurry regardless. But uh, we'll just say the top part is Old Torello. That way we're not jumping between too many maps because that's not fun. And uh, while it is definitely a journey on the way back, let's see. I'm trying to remember the exact time that we left. But I think you guys are good. It's going to be definitely past midday, though. And you arrive back at Margaret's house. Oh, that definitely is blurry, though. Knock, knock, knock. Uh, I mean, it's not the worst thing ever. Just don't zoom all the way in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You mean, like, what I'm doing right now? Probably, yeah. 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 And considering she's about as big as the house, yeah. <laughs> I could definitely zoom in even more. That would look awful. After about ten or so seconds of waiting, Vega, you hear a knock at the door. She's knocking back? <laughs> yes. Hello, Mrs. Margaret! Uh, she opens and says, uh, hello! Oh! Yes, yes, please, come on in! I will waltz in. Uh, we found your necklace. Found? You're not the ones that stole it, are you? That was too easy. What? We had to kill some zombies to get this! I'll pull it out. Here! She points. Aha! I was mainly- still some zombie on you, actually. Oh, flick it off. She takes in a bit of a whiff and goes, Oh, dear gods! You smell awful, and so does that. Uh, I mean, a zombie was wearing it. Is there something special about that necklace we should have known about? Uh, no, besides it's mine and relatively expensive. By the way, I don't suppose your husband was a violinist. Uh, nope, never touch the stuff. Okay. She, she reaches out to, uh, take Must the have necklace? Must a weird coincidence, I guess. But kind of waits a second, then grabs, like, a hanky to take it from you, because it's got some stank on it. Yeah, that's fine. All right, she procures it, flips it a couple times in her hand, says, <laughs> you old bastard, you thought you could take this from me, didn't you? Who? Huh? 
Uh, Rise, of course, the old one. The presumably dead one. Did you see his body? You said there were zombies? Was he walking around with this thing or what? I'll be honest, Maybe. I don't uh, know what your husband looked like. It has been quite some time. That is fair. He'd be very rotten by now. You were fighting the undead, uh, though? Yes. Suddenly wondering if I should have mentioned that. Why? Why not just grab the necklace? That seems very dangerous. Well, um, it kind of shambled into a crypt, you know. Yeah, it was kind of hard to reach. No, oh, fair enough, fair enough. Your your potions, by the way, your husband's potions came in handy. Thank you very much. Well, good. I'd say he lost it a bit in uh, some of his older years, but uh, when he was good, he was quite good. But were you still thirsty? I I could. I think I've got maybe maybe one or two more I could hand you. Oh, uh, yeah, that'd be great. Oh, <laughs> most excellent. And she kind of shuffles around uh, while looking for some more of the, the good juice. And says, so, I assume no one died. There were three of you initially, right? We're not missing anyone? That is correct. Good, yes. good. Getting got dis disemboweled, though, but yeah. That's normal for me, apparently. You don't look so good. But not dead. It's all that matters. <laughs> like I said, thanks for your potion. And after digging through a pantry, she'll uh, slide two to you, Vega. I believe trading is a uh, natural in Foundry, so y'all can just pass around, do, do what you need, of course. You should be able to, at least. Okie dokes. Everyone should be able to have one now on them, I think. And she continues looking at it, just like, ah, so nice. So nice. Wonderful. She starts to, like, run out under the water and, and clean it. And then she uh, puts it on, uh, smiles, and says, yes. looks good, yes. I hope you have some soap to get that smell off, though. L looks great. We'll, uh, I would like to go be where that necklace is right now in the shower. So I'll see you later, ma'am. What's a shower? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Bath, yeah. shower, lake, pond. I don't care. Well, get clean. You do smell absolutely awful. <laughs> Pretty typical. And I will is, walk is out. Is her token um, accurate, by the way? Uh, mostly, yes. She, she doesn't need to have face tattoos. Okay. I was going to ask. I can. So I did see a tattoo. Can I ask who the artist was? If he's in town. Oh, I got I got these ages ago. Different town, different lifetime. If I'm being entirely honest. Do you happen to know what town it was? She looks I deep think... into the necklace and is like legitimately trying to think. Goes, you know, what was your name again? I go by Arbalest. Ah, uh, Arbalest. Then I, you'll have to forgive me. I am a little. Forgetative, I'm, I'm sure you could uh, imagine uh, these days. It was, it was quite some time ago, and it was, as I mentioned, a different life, a different time. I seem to recall doing them myself, but I had the assistance of someone, as they are very clearly on my face. And she smiles. I can imagine. I mean, I didn't do mine myself either, and I was shown. Mm, she, she looks more real quick and says, Oh, what a unique design! I'm not sure I fully recognize them, but... Hmm. Well, if there's anything you can recognize about them, I would be surprised, actually, because they were on me when I was reborn, I guess. Oh, how quaint! How'd you feel, uh, killing the other reborns in the, uh, in the graveyard there? Your brethren, your fellow kin. Well, I wouldn't go so far as to call them my brethren. I mean, I'm alive, they aren't. You also smell much better. Well, thank you. For now. I try to stay away from the fight, you know? I mean, me too! <laughs> Other than that, I'll, uh, I'll have to ring up old uh, uh, Bell One. Send him a little bell boy and, you know, if I were called anything, I'll have him get a hold of you. My people call your people and all that. That sounds fantastic, actually. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. I'll be on my way, then. The least I can do. Well, oh, of course, of course. And she, uh, she waves while smiling at the necklace. I'll just go to, like, a Redman Tavern, I guess. Actually, you... no, he's going to, um, whatever the hell the guilt was that Vega came from. Uh, yeah, so, Vega, you obviously have room and board in the LaGraves <laughs> estate, uh, meaning, of course, you can have a shower there. Uh, you, you're expected to bring your friends back to basically accept the reward and such. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. At this point, I'm more so going there to, like, deliver the dagger as well. <laughs> yeah, I will, uh, I did walk out of the house, but I will wait impatiently for them to follow me. All right, as you're stinking up the alleyways, uh, you know that it's not a two, three-minute walk from where you currently are to get to the uh, 
home place of both you and the LaGraves. And as you arrive, uh, many brothers and sisters give you a wave, Vega. Uh, very friendly to see that you're back. Clearly, somewhat in pain, but not dead. Three in, three out. That's a mission success. Uh, I mean, they probably weren't expecting me to come back bloody and stinky from a search and find <laughs> jewelry. Honestly, they didn't know what it was. It was just a, could you help this older woman? Thank you very much. Uh, who's, who's the boss again? Uh, Belwan and Faley. Uh, remind me what their relationship is. They're married. And Belwan's the one who gave us the mission? Correct, yes. Hey, Belwan! Uh, are you showering first or swinging by to the, the man? I'm going to swing by to the man. All right. Uh, you are allowed in, and as you guys are kind of walking in after you get your quick wave... I'm, I'm keeping my distance. Yeah, immediately after there's a, whoa, what the shit? And you basically get that exact same reaction from every single person on the way in. Uh, him included, as he's like, oh, you know, hello. Oh, Lord. Okay. <clears throat> and he, he takes a step back and kind of you know, coughs and laughs to himself, looking up and down. You don't need to explain. He knows how this I, all uh, works. I'm, I'm going to cross my arms through my chest and look very proud. So, um... That uh, mission helping Mrs. Margaret turned into a bit of um, zombie killing debacle. He nods at that and Faley kind of gives you an eyebrow raise. There's no one else in the room except for the five of you currently. And he goes, oh, really now? I assume that's what uh, explain the smell then. Yeah. Hey, well, uh, of course, the showers are open to you, Vega. You don't need to report to me uh, this quickly, but I, I, I do appreciate uh, the speed. Well, I just want you, I wanted to make it very obvious that this is a serious problem because the summoner got away. Hey, well, that, uh, that tends to happen sometimes. I uh, weren't really expecting uh, too much of a fight. What precisely was the problem? You said she lost an amulet. A uh, keepsake from her husband, apparently, during a grave visit. And one of the zombies, well, presumably her raised husband happened to, I guess, pick it up when he was raised. Well, it's most important that the uh, the three of you are safe. Thank you. I'm going to go clean now. Yes, uh, please do. Are uh, are these two friends here or is it just folk that you hired off the road? Um, the latter, but they're great. I like them quite a lot. Except for Kane and his insides. Aw, uh, what? I don't know what you're talking about. That's where they belong. Away what? from me. Huh? I will stomp off. And... The, the or something? I don't, are, I don't know what happened. They're looking at you very confused to say, like, what? And the look you give them, Kane, is just as confused. I, I'm just so. laughing. I, I just shrug at them. Yeah, they, they, they shrug back. Uh, they basically know, Vega, that after you shower, your reward and everything should, uh, should be here once you swing on, on your way back. Excellent. Now, there was another matter. Uh, Vega told us that there was a, one of your people went missing a week ago. Uh, unfortunately, yes. We've not seen him in quite some time. Did you find yes. him? Well, we aren't sure, but I think this is a good enough indicator of his fate. I'll give the dagger over. Uh, Belwan takes the dagger, turns it over in his hand, and Faley sighs behind him as he turns to hand it to her. She double checks it and nods. He says, I... Yes, I do believe this was Ullman's dagger. It's unfortunate. Uh, where'd you find it precisely? Uh, in the, the crypt underneath the temple church, with the summoner was doing something. It wasn't pleasant to, well, look at. Understandable, you don't really, you won't need to go into details. Uh, did you find his body or uh, just his weapon? Mm. Well, it's hard to tell if it's his body, let's just say. Understood, understood. Uh, well, I do appreciate you bringing it back. I say there's probably not much we can do uh, after something like this, but we will hold his weapon uh, close by. We'll try to keep an eye out for him just in case he's still a Roman, maybe lost the weapon. It's... Is a sign of prestige. Really, yes. Of course, of course. Uh, some folk do try to steal these, but, well, considering where you found it, I don't think they've got much use for a dagger. Thank you, though. Well, the summer also left something else behind, but I'm not sure if this is the right place to discuss that. I raised. Do you have a, uh, I don't know, someone skilled at magical appraisal in here? Ah, yes, of course we do. What'd you find? Well, apparently the summoner left behind an eye of his master to keep watch or something. Slow like, nod. Honestly, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it was some kind of magical spying tool, I don't know. It might be listening in on us right now. But I'm not all that magically inclined. Aye, fair enough, fair enough. 
I assume you won't want to be keeping it for yourself. You can leave it with it's us if you'd like. Probably not, no. Right. Faley walks over and uh, kind of puts her hand out and says, you can leave it with me. I'll hand it over to her then. And she smiles and takes it and kind of makes a, a gushy noise as she shakes the bag and goes, yeah, that's an eye. And then uh, heads on the back to the table. Without, without opening it, she kind of just puts her hands on the bag off to the side. I'm not sure if there's anything you can do with the house part. Oh. Well, it definitely seems like you found a few uh, concerning items. Uh, anything else you had uh, questions on? You both seem like very nice folk. And uh, once again, I was unaware of the dangers, so I do appreciate the two of you helping out. Well, I try to help where I can. Uh, he, he smiles at that and he's kind of, uh, one, one second, one second. And he turns about, kind of fumbles with, with, a, with a bag and then uh, Faley helps him count some gold pieces out. And then he stands and to each of you, uh, walking to Cain uh, and then to you, Arbalist. Uh, he hands both of you uh, individually a bag of uh, six gold. So each of you can add six, uh, Vega yourself included, because he gave Arbalist your little pouch of gold. And then he says, Okie dokes. For bringing back the dagger, I really appreciate it. I, I include a little extra in there for you. No, I appreciate it. Uh, and then he also lets you guys know if you, if you want to stay for food after Vega's only getting clean, you're more than welcome to do so. I completely forgot about the quill. Oh, I mean, you can, you know, <laughs> nowhere, <laughs> yeah. nowhere to go, so. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I might as well show it to them. Like, if any of you what this is, seems to be some kind of creature. I don't know, quill. He raises an eyebrow to that, but Faley takes a few steps forward, presenting her palm as if to say, "May I see it?" Uh, sure. Uh, she takes it in her hand and turns it a few times, and she grips it a li little tighter while kind of focusing on it. And then, like with a shocked look, she turns it again and goes to hand it back to you and says, "I'm not entirely sure what this is. I." Could definitely leave it with someone here if you'd like. I really, hmm, Leecher might be able to say what it is, but I unfortunately cannot. It's, well, out of my range. It might be out of hers as well. She is quite competent, but I'm not sure I've seen anything like this well, ever. Uh, have you, Belvan? And he looks at him and says, no, I don't believe so. Where'd you find it exactly? Uh, it was inside the, well, thing, I guess, that was summoned. The pile. Pretty much the pile, yes. The puddle. We assume, puddle. we assume that's also where Omen went. I'm, I'm glad I missed whatever this was you're describing, because it sounds uh, quite obvious. Yes, well, you smelled some of it. <laughs> he chuckles at that. I, I... It was not pleasant. <laughs> no, sounds quite horrible, actually. Uh, well, up to you, Mr. Arbalist. If you'd like, we could hold on to it for a day or so. You can trust us, as if you trust Vega, of course. We could have a look at it. If we don't know what it is, well, regardless, we'll give it back to you. But we could try our best, if you wish. I mean, he's considering, because he also knows that Brent might know what it is. Or at least he assumes what. Well, you have to. It should take them about a day or so, and you know Brent will be here for about a week, so. He's not Russian. Nah. <laughs> I'm so happy to see him all grown up! <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to it for a little longer and ask Brent, and otherwise I can always return it for uh, for inspection, I guess. Sure thing. Uh, and Faley smiles. And go ahead and hands it right over to you. And by this point, I think you'd be smelling a, a little less Vega. A little? Only I, a little less. I, I would have scrubbed until it was gone. Only a little Flesh less. Flesh is raw. <laughs> yes. If that's what it takes. Fortunately, you have backup, backup clothes here, so you can burn the old ones. Yes. Uh, they probably look exactly the same because I always keep multiple pairs of the exact same items. Of course. I just like every I, anime character ever. I have a specific fashion sense. You gotta keep your brand strong. I'm not sure if you can call it a fashion sense if it's literally the same set of clothes. Uh, that it is one fashion sense. It is still a fashion sense. Yeah, she's very particular. <laughs> very particular. Alrighty, and with that, like I mentioned, they have a... Fairly normal meal prepared for you guys, just like some potatoes and some soup and such. Uh, then after that, you guys can kind of go wherever you want. You don't have to take the food. If you guys want to tell them no, it's up to you. I mean, if food is included, I'm joining. Oh, yeah. Abs yeah. Ab absolutely. Free food. I don't have Vega, to buy anything. Vega has two stomachs. Only two? Well, she had three before she washed <laughs> up. <laughs> yes. Unfortunate. Well, she threw it down the drain, so. Safe enough there. Uh, but after the warm meal... Where do y'all head to next? It's still uh, noonish, or oh, it's it's definitely uh, I'd say around three ish, possibly closer to four. You had an early dinner. Uh, after after food is beer. Okay, I guess we're drinking. Yeah, he promised us, right? Maybe we can make him promise every night. I don't know wow. about that. I mean, wow. 
it's worth a shot. He has a unicorn for crying out loud. Free beer, right? Free beer, right? Free beer, right? <laughs> Besides, I want to know more about this creep before he raises more dead. I mean, that works. So y'all head out, and it's it's not even a five or so minute walk. Uh, I believe this is a specific location. Uh, what was her name? Sunil, I believe. I think the name this place. Ah, yes, the Fearless Fiddle. Uh, this place was relatively close by. This was the first inn that you all uh, went to in that first campaign. Yep. And Brent, did you guys know that they would be there? Excellent. Uh, as, as you all head in, I mentioned before, uh, Sunil sort of runs a... I want to say like horribly upper class, but it's nicer. There's no bar brawls here. Everyone is relatively chill and the food is leaning more towards expensive. Uh, so probably smart to eat sometimes at least before you get here, but the drinks are reasonably priced. And that's what we're here for. And as you all head in, uh, Brennan's actually sitting relatively close to the door. They give you a quick wave. I'll wave back and uh, hop on over. After a smile. I assume you're here for the free drinks. Yeah, absolutely. Drinks and questions. Oh, well, I'm not going anywhere. I need to talk to a few people in town, but whatever you have, fire it at me. Uh, food or just drinks are fine? Just drinks. We, ha we ate already. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Bren waves down someone and they prepare some drinks to bring to the table for you guys. And Bren kind of kicking back. Uh, they smirk and grab it a necklace that is dangling. Uh, just against their chest, and it's shaped like a little pearl unicorn. Starburst can hear you, and respond a little, but this is the, the way I bring around town. Oh, that's you seemed, neat. You seemed interested, so I thought I'd point it out. Uh, I eyeball the necklace real hard. Brent kind of wiggles it at you, like, uh. <laughs> Wow, that's really cool. All right, I still don't know what's cool about a, ho a horse with a horn, honestly. I mean, they can talk, it's kind of nice, but... What's so special about it? They're very rare. But I would know. Now you do. Now I do. Let's just say comparing Star Wars to a standard horse is, I wouldn't even say borderline offensive. But regardless, we're past that now. What can I do for you guys all? You help me? Free beer and what? Questions? Yep. All right, well, fire away. So what do you know about the creepy caped guy? Leaning against the table, they take a sip from the beer and quickly say, let me get this off the table immediately. There are only so many things I can actually say about my mission. Let's just say that my god and the church have me off doing something uh, particular. So I can only tell you so much. But I do know they're a bad person that needs to be stopped. And realistically, we don't need to know more than that. They're doing precisely what you saw, resurrecting the dead. And to my knowledge, they're serving someone or something stronger. We don't know their goals precisely, but we are here to stop them. How long has it been going on? Longer than we'd like to admit. Um, I'm sure you understand having things in control makes the general populace, well, less likely to worry. Makes sense. Yeah. Yes. Most of the time, yeah. Well, I guess there's more of you running around, hunting down these I don't know, summoners. Correct. Uh, you'll have to, once again, forgive me, uh, as I don't know you, so I can't get any names or numbers, but there's enough of us moving about, correct. I'm effectively in charge of this area. I'll be looking around to a little bit longer, but if I've determined there's nothing here, I'll be moving on. I guess, sorry that you're too late in that case, but we managed to handle whatever the hell it summoned with, with some effort, and I'll look to Vega and Kane. I hope you catch him soon, I guess. Thank you. Truly, it's a good thing the three of you were here, and, well, unfortunately, on my part, I was late. What, 10, 20 minutes sounds like you were all down there for quite some time, so that's a failure on my part. Nothing to apologize for. Wow. It was all coincidence, honestly. Regardless, it was taken care of. They may be gone, but they could not have gotten that far. I did manage to find one other thing, by the way, that I didn't show you. Uh, yeah. I'll pull out the quill. Oh, do tell. Ah, uh, another quick... Swig of the beer and a closer look. More beer? And they lean forward. I'm not all too familiar with, I don't know, the animals around here, but this doesn't seem like a normal kind of thing. Uh -uh. No, it's not. Maybe it's something you're interested in? Uh, Brent puts their hand out. Do you mind? Sure. Uh, they take it and turn it in their hand a couple times. Peels off one of their gloves and gives it a, a thorough touching. 
and after a moment, they seem very apprehensive, almost like they're, they're touching something sharp, and the edges are sharp, the tips are. Looking around the room a bit. I'm going to do something, please don't look shocked. And let me know if anyone's watching, yes? Uh, glance around, is anyone watching? Yeah. Not that you can say. Uh, by the time you guys turn back, Brian has a small knife in their hand, and they kind of cut the uh, back of their like forearm. A tiny bit of blood begins to come out. And they wave that needle near the cut, and it goes through this really rigid, hard pine to somewhat of a noodly texture as it begins to try to move towards the wound. And then Brain quickly pulls it away. It says, well, intriguing. Uh, cuffs pulled up, glove put back on, and as Brian hands it back to you, Arbalist, it is completely rigid once again. Oh, you know where this done. Yeah, I agree with that. I'll have to disappoint you again. I don't know exactly what it is, but I do know that this can be placed, well, can be, huh, it wants to be placed into your body, as you saw there. I believe it's alive in some way, shape, or form. Gross. Uh, slightly, yes. I was just confirming if it was the same thing what I've run into. Gross. You've been pulling your guts out to help you. <laughs> yeah, he has a point. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't done that ever. Uh, Never in wow. my life. Right. It was, anyway, you were saying. It was dark, no so uh, Bren didn't see it either, so shrug. No proof? It didn't happen? Well, effectively, I don't really know what it is. I, I think you need to speak with someone that's, well, more familiar with the uh, arcane arts in order to determine the origins of that item. I wouldn't bring it to the church, personally. In fact, I would steer clear of the church. They might try to confiscate it. Is it a dangerous object, then? They might believe it is, yes. I did bring them one after forcibly seeing what it can do. I was able to remove it, of course. But, well, they determined it a weapon or something dangerous, as I also found it in the body of one of those uh, things. Are they usually this big? No, that one's quite large. The one I found was maybe half that size. Honestly, it's a good thing that I picked it up then, rather than one of you two. Uh, indeed, if you two looked uh, quite wounded, it would have uh, well, jumped straight for any one of those multiple cuts you seem to be collecting. That's a good collection. You do smell better, Vega. That's good. <laughs> yeah, thank you. We can fix that. No, thanks. Well, you don't want inside ropes? Do it, and I'll punch you. I would be the first time. <laughs> You're very close to Death King. I can take it. <laughs> if you say so. Just cast shield, put it on the end of your inside rope, and just swing it and use it as like a mobile shield. You block from any distance. Like a weird flail? Yeah. Really creepy flail? Yeah, that if it gets nicked by something, disappears, so. <laughs> if you die, I'm putting this thing inside you. Oh, uh, don't do that. Yeah, please don't. Friend nods and says, well, Unless we have more, uh, more shop talk. Like I said, I'll be here for about a week or so. I assume you'll have nowhere to go. We can just kind of relax a bit. Second round's on me. Currently, no. I'm just Not in a rush to go moving anywhere. around. Perfect. Uh, Bren waves to the, uh, the waiter. More beers all around. And if you guys want, you can just basically chill with Bren, have a nice rest, and just kind of relax here. Actually, I would like to know where he got the unicorn. Uh, you ask where the unicorn was acquired from? Yeah. Okay. I say, unicorn come from? where do unicorn? Uh, during this time, I'm gonna say, I, don't, I don't think it's automated, but go ahead and test it for me. Uh, each of you can go under utility and uh, just, just hit me rest for the night because the odds of you guys fighting something right now is uh, relatively low. So I'm going to see if it actually removes that uh, I'm dying. I don't think it does. Okay. I got okay. one HP back. Hell yeah. Yeah, you don't get very much back. Uh, but when you like rest rest, you do get more. But yeah. <laughs> it's it's something times your con modifier or your level I think it's not very good oh it might just be I mean, your that's level what, in uh, that's what medicine health checks health. are for anyway I, I think it's one times your con and you guys both have plus one con so one times one is one not yeah. great you, you <laughs> can, so hard I mean you can basically treat wounds infinitely anyway so yeah it has a long cooldown between each use but you can yeah but well you say that, but you can continue working on it for like double the healing, which takes an hour. So it's basically continuous. Yep. As long as you have time to just kind of sit back and relax, you heal the full. Uh, so oh, yeah. for future reference, if there's any moments if, like if this. Once I can do surgery in this bar on you. Yeah. So <laughs> if we have any 
if we have any moments like these where we're kind of like relaxing, drinking, whatever, I'll just say manually heal to full. Uh, in this scenario, you can just heal up if you want. Because you guys aren't going over tonight, so. You may heal Vega if you wish. I, I would like to, yes. Go for it. Uh, so, you ask where uh, Bren got the unicorn. You know the story, so I assume you don't want me to repeat it. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know. Okay, okay. Demons know. Oh, yeah, Demons doesn't know. Uh, well, long story short, uh, Bren, as a child, basically wanted help finding their friend. Yeah, he said basically their friend Starburst had gone missing in, back in Haydel, and no one believed them, so, like, hey. Th this is a Kovu's campaign, by the way. You remember Kovu? So everyone in Kovu's campaign decided to listen to Bren, and Bren, inspired by how cool you guys were, uh, both got their unicorn friend back and decided to become an adventurer. You need to be a bit more obvious with those references, lover. I mean, if you didn't get it initially, I was going to be. Yeah, I wasn't going to get that. I, I, I would have I would have been very obvious, don't worry. I, I was too excited by the unicorn. I mean, oh my god. I used the I same mean, art the for unicorn. The unicorn, was, unicorn was a reference, too. But I didn't remember. <laughs> you didn't remember the bro unicorn you guys rescued from the... No. Uh, it's okay, I remembered. Thanks. Poor unicorn. I yeah. remember Starburst, my good boy. They're gonna cut him open. He's like, "Yo, what's up?" <laughs> I mean, now I remember trying to trying to save him, but I didn't remember then. All good. Poor Bren. Alrighty, and with that, yeah, you guys just uh, you drink, you hang out, you effectively do do what you will, and Bren keeps the alcohol flowing. You guys probably share some like war stories and whatnot. Uh, like I said, if there's anything in particular you want to tell them, you're more welcome to do so. Otherwise, we can roll over to the next day and you can let me know your alcohol tolerance. <laughs> Zero. Hi. Excellent. Those are two very different things. <laughs> I want mine to be the opposite of what it actually is. Hi. Arbus is just normal, but he doesn't drink a lot. Excellent. Uh, well. He paces himself, weirdly enough, compared to the two of you. Okay. And it doesn't seem to bother Brand any. You know, you guys want alcohol, finger foods. Uh, m not as amazing as the, uh, you know, the special nuts, but there are nuts here. They're just not the magical ones. The special nuts. The special nut, the irresistible, the, <laughs> the chain that opened up that unfortunately hasn't hit this bar just yet. No. <laughs> uh, but yes, but I want to also let you guys know, because you were so helpful, that if you wanted to stay, uh, they have room and board available for both Kane and Arbalist as an additional thank you. Uh, they basically said if you guys want, you know, the room and board flips and functions, but you guys can stay there for free for uh, about a week or so before they effectively, you know, need to let you go. But, but that's an extra thank you from them. Sure. I mean, I would probably be in town for a while longer while I do my thing. And I would offer them, like, uh, if you need any more help with tracking or stuff like that, bodyguards, I'm here. Perfect. I can't imagine them asking for more help in a minute. Why would they never do that? Surely they wouldn't ask adventurers who were here for some reason. For help. No, what are the odds of that? Exactly. Uh, also, upon completing your mission, let's see how well this works. So I have an award party experience little macro here that someone graciously posted on Reddit, so I'm going to yoink it. And right here it just tells me, oh man, that's so cool. It has a little drop-down menu, so I'll say, yeah, sure, minor accomplishment, why not? If I just hit go? Yeah, all right, cool. So for completing said mission, you'll get 10 experience. Yay! And it's automatic. I love Is that. Is it? Yeah. You should have 360 now? Haha, -ha, it did work. Nice. I am very happy with that. Cool. Oh, it took a while. It takes a second, yeah, but it does indeed uh, automatically pop it in there. Uh, so, <laughs> the day rolls around, uh, unless you want to roleplay being uh, hungover. <laughs> you do not have to. Uh, but, we'll say in about a week or so, uh, Bell One will reach out to you again, Vega, for additional I help. I mean, I would have given the uh, quill to Katie then. Uh, so, besides having her look at it, is there anything you guys want to do in that time before Bell wants to give us up? Besides getting experience, the experience tracker, I would advise Bren, like, if all of these abominations have these, this quill, maybe you should find where the quills come from. Bren effectively lets you know that's kind of the goal. One of the two of the major linking parts that has been seen between each of these incidents is that figure or quills but the quills aren't left behind every single time rarely so the fact that you found one is actually pretty great Brian lets you know once again don't show to the church keep it on you uh i'm sure as you guys are aware sometimes they're a little too up and go get them so just uh, burn, burn it burn it and it's like wait hold up and then back up our blessed mind he is going what if i use this as a bolt 
it's sharp. I wouldn't. I would have to find out what it does first. But like, if it kills someone, sure, I'm gonna use it as bolt. I'd be willing to bet it probably turned that monster into the monster it was. Maybe. If it kills someone. But that's also a fun option, right? No. What do you mean, no? Because it won't be a friendly, that's why. So? Oh my god. O only if you want it to do it be. and then run. Yeah. Like, I could shoot it at some guy and he, that guy will then turn into a walking mound of flesh and kill his allies. I guess that is an option, I guess. Yeah, lock him in a room. Easy game. <laughs> now we're XP farming. I, I'm about to say, yeah, kill someone with it, kill that, and then retrieve it, next person. Easy game. Alrighty, so, on that note, uh, in this week or so, Litra definitely gives it a, a good solid look, but as Faye guessed, unfortunately, she also cannot determine what it is, but she has additional information on top of what Brandon was able to tell you guys. So it has some form of necromantic magic attached to it, but there's something wrong with it, some sort of corruption that is deep within it. So she lets you know, Litra, do not, after you like share the information, because she did the same test effectively, uh, don't let this thing inside you, at least in its current form. Fortunately, Vega, you helped a very particular wizard nearby that you guys have decent ties to. Oh, yeah. Casually stroll into the workshop of an Archmage, sure. Yeah, so obviously he's super, super busy. So the Lagraves let you know that they'll try to reach out to him, but he is stupid busy. So if you want to leave it with them, you can, and they can get back to you what it is later, or you can hold on to it. Sure. It's up to you. I mean, I don't think I'm going to use it for anything, so I, I, might, I don't mind leaving it. Okay, we'll just keep it in your inventory for now. And effectively, there's, there's a work order uh, to shove it to Mr. Archmage <laughs> when he feels like helping. I can't um, wait for you to be all nonchalant about it, like, yeah, it's nothing, it's just a world-killing virus thing. I think I, I would be personally offended by this item, by the way. You don't get a good vibe from it in general, Vega. There's, well, but, but is it's... Is it anathema to you? Yes. It's corrupted necromancy, that's, that's definitely... Yeah, that might be uh, an issue. Yeah, that, that's I mean, definitely as long as you offensive. Don't use it. Yeah, for you specifically, Vega? Necromancy is normally fine, at least when used respectfully. This is not used respectfully. It's a, it, it is corrupted. So you are you are correct. Th this goes against the teachings of your goddess. Yes, which means I definitely want to uh, take care of this. So uh, I will listen to what uh, what's his face wants, but I don't know if I'm going to be focused on it, depending on what it is. Wow, rude. Sorry. I am trying to find my goddess. Maybe this is why she needed my attention. She, she, I mean, she hasn't spoken to anyone in my village in over a hundred years, so... Oh, well, fine. There's a reason why she suddenly spoke up now. I mean, at least wait until the Archmage finds out what it actually is, and then you can destroy it. I don't mind, honestly. Fair. Alrighty, well, but yes, in that time, uh, we'll kick back over to uh, the Lagraves. Uh, and also, during, during this time, uh, you are... I probably Stop jumping between maps so much because we're going to jump again in a second. Huh. Uh, you are known uh, by Bren. They let you know they're basically going to be leaving in like a day or so. Uh, so if you guys have any parting words with Bren, you're more than welcome to fire them their way. Uh, otherwise. Can I give him a uh, long distance talkie talkie sound? Uh, you don't have one on you. I mean, double check how they function in Pathfinder. But if for any reason they're super cheap, sure. All right. I just I mean, want I... something to reach out to him because he is looking into something offensive to me. It makes sense. It is definitely something maybe, unique. Maybe he also knows something about your goddess. They seem to be sharing, I don't know, a domain. Um, possibly. There's, there's a lot of gods and goddesses in this, in this world that aren't my god and goddess, though, so IDK. And Brent seems well-traveled, so I'll just ask him if he's ever seen any more tattoos like mine, I guess. You never know. Hmm. I would ask you, how many more folk would have tattoos like that? Walking around, displaying uh, them. Like, I would say between zero and maybe a handful. Uh, then, unfortunately, their answer would be no. I wouldn't say uh, Brand's adventure had just yeah. begun. They've been on the road for a little while, but very much focused on the other thing. But now that you brought it up, Brand will be on the lookout. Uh, I mean, it's very much a case of where he came from. As far as the world is concerned, it does not exist and has never existed. Making it even harder to find. Excellent. Basically. Awesome. Is it in an alternate dimension? No. Or is it? Dun, dun, dun. Alrighty. If you want to know, I don't mind sharing it, but it's part of the mystery. Uh, I can wait then. 
Or you can use uh, Yeti's account to read my secret notes. <laughs> If, if, if I care, yes. See, um, secrets in this game are fun. Indeed, I've also erected a wall, so she turns around. She can't see. <laughs> you, okay, hey, listen. Oh my god, that's cheating! Don't look at... She's looking at OBS if that's looking at my screen. <laughs> that's so big brain! How dare you! That was really smart, I hate you. I was like, there's no way you can see my screen. Hurry <laughs> it up better. Oh, you're too smart for me. You found a way to get around it. I know. At that point, you've earned it. <laughs> Alrighty. Luckily, you You're didn't have my secret notes open. It's fine. Uh, considering uh, both, so Kane, in terms of your mission, I assume you're also cool, uh, like the Arabist, hanging out and helping. Yeah. Cool. Uh, because both of you were true to your word and have not left or really uh, skipped town, uh, you know that the uh, Lagraves are not slow to trust. They are very open and welcoming to effectively everybody. Uh, as a quick reminder, Vega, Faley is not Belwan's first wife, and he was a much more brutal person back in the day. His wife was killed by someone in the Hainsley family uh, during some altercation between their groups. After that, he calmed down quite a bit after some other shitty things happened, and then he uh, basically resettled down, found Faley, and she's trying to help him calm down. So this group in general, it's what, six months after that? So they're even more, let's say legitimate. They are like a gang, but they're a good gang, effectively. They don't want to get rid of, you know, their group, but they're trying to shed the old self and their bad reputation. Yeah. Yeah. So because of the two of you decided to stay and chill, they trust you a bit more. And because of that, Belwan effectively lets you guys know that this is slightly more vague, unfortunately. It's, it's not as direct, but it's been about a week or so. Belwan asks you guys again for help, and this time, he only really has one real clue, but he wants you to keep this close to your chest. People on the outside of Torello, so farming villages and things of that nature, have gone missing recently. Some people in town, but much fewer folk in town. The thing is, this wasn't too much of a worry because people go missing during hunting expeditions, and there's beasts and monsters out in the wild, we know this, that's unfortunately one of the dangers to living out in the open open but this general area is relatively safe people going missing though kind of a problem uh so to not spread panic and whatnot uh bell one would like you all to look into this if you could uh there's a little village up the road uh of farmers and he wants you to check with them if you can uh as they have the most people missing all right i suspect it's related so let's go all right and as you guys uh prepare on your way uh, out of town, right before you leave the gates of Torello, an individual that is not dressed for the occasion kind of stumbles out of an alleyway and almost falls directly in front of you all. Uh, their feet and the lower part of their gown is like, covered in dirt and just general mess. Uh, he looks up to you all and just incredibly lost and panicked. Uh, he doesn't lock eyes with any of you. He's looking past the three of you. And kind of muttering to themselves, you just hear them say, no, nothing really? There's like, there's like no... It's, it's almost every other word you, you hear. They're a good maybe five-ish feet away from you guys. Like, okay. Like, I would probably like bend down and single-handedly pick him back up and like, are you all right? All right. Initially, this individual... See like, see, like, if he's drunk or anything, like... Yeah. His eyes bounce from your hand and they like legitimately like bounce off your face as, as if he's like scared to look you in the eyes. And initially, he pulls his hand back as to say no, but they do take your hand and kind of pull up. Very intentionally, try not to look directly at you, Arbalist. And no, 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 I'm staring even harder. They don't look drunk, they just look scared. And looking, like, at your head, but just past your eyes, almost like they're looking at your ear. Their whispering gets a bit louder. And they just say, do, do you see the giant who walks through the stones? Do you see... Do you see? What? Giant walks through the stones? What? I'm looking like down the alley if I see a giant walking through the stones. Nothing. Uh, y you do see a nurse, though, and she is looking around hurriedly. N Miss, is he yours? Is he yours? As you shout, she oh, breathes a breath, a breath of air. Oh, oh, gods. Oh, you found him. Thank you. Thank you so much. He didn't hurt himself, did he? I will no. look him over. I mean, he fell over. He seems to be a bit. I guess, but. His knee seems to be bleeding a little, and she goes, oh, no, no, no. 
Um, thank you all so, so very much. He didn't, uh, did he say anything odd? I, I'm sorry if he bothered you. Yes, yes, he did. Is, is, is this usual for him? He, hmm, he, he lost some of his family and well, he hasn't been well since then. So we're, we're doing our best to take care of him. I, I, I honestly apologize. Um, come, sir, come, come, come. And he's just kind of mumbling to himself the same thing over and over and over. Just do you see, do you see, Miss, do you see? did he use his family recently? Uh, no, it was uh, some time back. Why? Well, we're uh, currently investigating some missing persons. Oh, this was... And she waves on another nurse that was also looking and she saying like, oh, breath, breath of relief, uh, takes him in and she turns back to you guys and says, uh, this was during um, a raid. They are confirmed dead, unfortunately. It was just a random act of violence from what we could tell. Interesting. I, I do appreciate your concern, though. Thank you for helping him up, uh, sir. And she, she, she looks you over, Arbalus, in your, <laughs> your general form. A very large lad. I give like the slight nod of approval. Uh, with that, she sort of bows to you all, and then she returns, uh, returns back down the alleyway. Uh, this building, Vega, is kind of like a mental health facility where they help people off the streets and uh, things of that nature, folks that are downtrodden and whatnot. And other than that, the road that's seems a, that's a bit advanced for this society, isn't it? Uh, nope, because I can have mental whatever I want. Exist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but this this sounds like a helpful place, or is it misleading? Nope, it's not misleading. They're they're actually helpful. They drain his brain for fluids. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, yes, yes. It's he... run by. Uh, actually, does Pathfinder have uh, what are they called? Mind eaters, brain eaters, thingies. Probably, but they're called something different. The psychopomps. Yeah, th there's like there's like three things you can't have, and that's like beholders. Uh, shit. I'm definitely the, not beholders. Yeah, definitely not beholders. I, I'm sure there's like an eye beast. <laughs> Si si what, I stalk monster? <laughs> no, Bone Lords, they're called in uh, Tibia. <laughs> bone Baby? Wait, bone, bone Lord? Yeah, bone, bone Lords, because they summon right. skeletons. Oh, okay. And the small ones are still called Gazers, because that one is not uh, copyrighted. copyrighted, apparently. It's nice. Weird. I mean, it's, it's very odd. There's like literally four creatures. They're like, this is ours? No touch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll just rename it and make it cooler. Huh. There's also undead ones, which are called brain deads. Ha! Cute, I like it. Yeah. Alrighty, and with that, the three of you are released into the wild. The city has walls, right? Very much so. Torello is one of the uh, larger cities in this general area. Uh, Does it have, like, siege engines on the walls? As in, like, 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 like giant ballistas? Yes. Yeah. An arbalest would be, like, as he's walking away, he would basically be squinting at them, taking them in. For some reason, he's interested in them. Yeah, of all of the uh, major... I don't say towns. This is huh, much larger. I know each name denotes how many people live there. City, town, 10,000, 100,000, etc., etc. This is one of the larger ones uh, in, in general. You guys did run into, in the last uh, campaign, uh, Mira de Grey was the acting minister for King Cedric. And uh, he is the residing king of this place. So yes, Terrell is large, like quite large. So with that, yes, we all... Yeah, he would basically be longingly be staring at the walls. That's it. Excellent. Mumbling in himself. Well, as you guys are thinking to yourself, uh, on foot, it's going to take us a time to get there. Um, I don't know how much renting a carriage is, and I'm too afraid to ask. No. Um, Probably isn't expensive, honestly. I, I, I don't think it is. We, for now, will just hand wave it and say they can get you guys about halfway for free. We'll say it's part of you guys' payment. And the rest of the way, you guys are going to kind of have a little jog. On the way there, though... It's two silver per five miles. Oh, interesting. Uh, on the way there, you guys are taking the road, and you don't really see too many other folk uh, that are walking, which is sort of to be expected. We'll say we left at a reasonable time, so the sun is still high and bright in the sky. But as you guys are walking down this road, uh, are you guys are discussing anything along the way, or kind of just, you know, mission forward? I mean, assuming there isn't anything special along the way. No, except for the next thing. Uh, you guys hear some sort of run, <laughs> rustling in, in the bushes. And the rustling gets uh, louder and louder as you hear hurried, panicked breathing. And suddenly a woman just bursts out of the side of the woods, like looking incredibly panicked. And she's looking around. And she sees you all and says, oh, oh, thank the gods. Thank the gods. Are you? And she, she eyeballs quickly to your weapons. Oh, could you? And she looks back before finishing her sentence. Pauses. I draw my sword and approach. 
and then and, and then looks back. She kind of like she when she turns back, your weapons are redrawn. She goes, "Oh shit!" And with her hands up, she says, "Oh, could you could you possibly help me? S- something was chasing me in the woods." I'll look past the bushes. What was it, ma'am? I honestly can't say. I I didn't get a good look, but my oh, I was running with my child, and I believe he got lost. I I told him to hide near our campsite, but uh, fool I am. I I must have outrun him. I I, I told him to hide, though. Uh, we, we were both hiding in two separate directions, and oh, my little sweetheart, they must have gotten must do, have gotten turned around. Do I do I want to trust her? What kind of mother wouldn't pick their child up? I don't care. At this point, I'm already walking into the forest. Like, which direction are they? Okay. <laughs> She shakily turns and then and then points right where she came from. She says, j- j- "Just past the clearing there. Make make sure you're, you're you're quiet though. Ask for ask for Mark, but please make sure you stay safe." Mark quietly. Yes, yes. And and she nods. I I I am I am hesitating. Do I trust this woman? Sure. Do you trust said woman? Let's see. Flip do, 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 do I need to roll some sort of like deception check? So you aren't deceiving. It's funny to see through deception. I, I, I'm always wondering like what you should roll. Like society, I think might be the role. Um, not diplomacy. I think society makes no sense. I think so. Because I mean, it might it might be survival at this point as well. Honestly, to my knowledge, survival is more like animal check and things of that nature. Yeah, but like survival can also be is this potentially a bandit ambush or something? Possibly. And uh, it, yeah, it depends on how you want to roll it. It's fine. Yeah, definitely. She seems incredibly shaken up in Vega. You honestly cannot tell, but her her, her panic seems uh, genuine. <laughs> All right, I'll follow Arbalus. All right, Arbalus is already uh, a good head uh, ahead of you. Yes. <laughs> As he went in first, I am in stalking mode at this point, like doing the ranger thing, seeing, listening mainly. And you guys don't need to walk any more than I would say at your normal pace about. A minute or so, about 60 seconds of uh, a, a fair pace with Arbalist in the lead. Uh, you think you guys see a clearing just up ahead past the trees where there's a campsite. It looks as if it is currently unoccupied. But you see about six or so uh, little little tents. Is Mark supposed to be the child's name? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I guess I would first do a quick perimeter check, see if I see anything moving in the camp. What is a role for that? Sure, go ahead and give me... Perception doesn't exist. Uh, it does. It's under uh, attributes. Oh, right, it is. Uh, I'm not sure it's an attribute and not skill. Yeah, they put it in a really weird spot. Uh, yeah. There's also a seek check, but I'm not sure... I'm, I'm sure if, if that's for, like, finding enemies or something, huh? Let's see. Seek. Let me just drag it onto your... All right. Seek is a combat action. Okay. Dear God. Uh, seek is for scan. Oh, seek is for scanning a very particular area. So that would be like yeah, I'm looking. I was, I was gonna say. Yeah, that, that, that's more. So I'm looking at this exact tree. Do I see anything? Or you know, this thirty foot area. So you can go ahead and draw general perception at this point. Or scout, which is basically a concentration based skill track. Okay. Scout. Scout or um, search, which is under exploration, because we're not in combat currently. Indeed. I'm not sure what the mechanics behind that is, but. Yep, scouting is you scout ahead and behind the group to watch for danger moving at half speed at the start of the next encounter. Every creature gains plus one circumstance bonus to initiative rolls. Oh, that's useful. Indeed. Wait, is that scout or search? Uh, that is scout. So I think scout makes the most sense in this case, right? Are you, are you specifically looking for danger? Basically, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Let me add it to my list so I can actually use it then. There's also scout location. What's the difference? That that one's probably literally looking at an area, but you're looking for like more small details oh, and right. things moving and such. Yeah. Uh, oh, is it a, an effect I give to myself? I'm currently scouting, apparently. I guess that makes sense, but uh, realistically, okay, I, I yeah. still need to roll something to actually scout. Then I guess. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So regardless, all these rolls would be connected. To, oh, okay, that makes sense. No. So you basically say that you are currently scouting. So that's not an action. It's just a thing that you're constantly doing. And then the second you hit combat. You just roll. So that, that makes sense. So you are scouting. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So you're actively scouting right now, and then roll perception to actually actively do the uh, perceiving. Is anyone aiding me in scouting or perceiving? Uh, I will. I'm technically a forest elf. I don't know if it gives me anything. Probably not. Because you, you have to specifically take it in your... Uh... I lied. 
I changed it. I am now an Arctic elf. Oh. Oh, yeah. I remember that. It, it gives me cold resistance. Indeed. You're right. All right. Well, oh, she, she was a forest elf. Indeed. All righty. Yeah, she magically changed overnight. I mean, yeah. My goddess summoned me. Alrighty, with a 21 to perception, you can indeed see that this camp was abandoned somewhat recently. Uh, two of the tents look as if they are rustled up a bit. Uh, specifically, the one to the east and the one to the west look like they've been not flattened, but they're not, they're not looking too great. You do see just beyond the way, though, what seems to be a figure of someone wearing armor. It's really difficult to tell because they are indeed hiding, but they're looking towards you all and you can just barely see them. And they're like right west past. I mean, regardless, I'm going to make them my targets, I guess. My can we, can we smell any blood? You do not smell any blood, no. Yes, he's going to be my hunted prey now. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, on that note, the, uh, the mod I got that lets you mark people that use their reactions, I can also mark with literally anything, like arrows and numbers and like a blue dot, so realistically, we can just say like, the red dot is your hunted target, so I'll grab that later, but for reference, I have that now, so yay. Alright, after you see this individual arbalist, uh, uh, they, have, they are now your marked prey, uh, what, do, what do you do? You're not sure if they notice you or not. I'm going to, well, basically let my allies know uh, that there's someone there. I'm going to be quiet for a bit to see if he starts moving in a specific direction, I guess. As you're waiting, he doesn't seem to I'll move at all. I'll just stomp into. Right, you want to circle around back and see if we can get it on ambush him or something? I feel like since you're ranged and I'm melee, I should probably go in and you should circle around. You could also march into the camp instead and distract him that way. I, I mean, yeah, I, I can do that. But you should probably still circle while I'm doing that. Sure. All right, I will. Uh, I will stride into camp like I own the place. Are you saying or doing anything? Are you just walking in? Let me think. Okay, I'll go ahead and mark where the guy is, just so you know, because your friend points it out to you. He's right there. He seems to be in a bush. I, there is different states for that, isn't there? Uh, there are, but you rolled enough to completely see him. Yeah, but fake a dozen, basically. Correct. Yeah, I'm sitting her now. Yeah, she's aware of his presence. I will go ahead and shout uh, hello. You shout hello, and your voice echoes through the forest. Ask for Mark. Mark, are you here? In the tent to the north, you hear a rustling. Uh, after you hear that, Kane, what are you doing? Uh, I mean, I'd probably be kind of up with Vega, just a little bit back. Okay, so are you attempting to conceal yourself at all or no? Uh, I'd like to hide behind trees and stuff, but I'm staying closer. Okay, so you, are, are you trying to conceal yourself then from this figure? Yeah, or... a bit. Okay, both of you are only stealth then. If I'm not blind, there it is. Ah, yes, a two. Well, at least I roll self. All right, seven and a 22. Oh, I was going to say, for reference, uh, you guys can roll secretly if you hold control, I think, when you do it. I think. So that way it rolls, yeah. but can you, can you, can you not I see that? Even see it. Nope. Cool. All right, I do see it. So if you guys, uh, for that one, that's fine, rolling in the open. Uh, but for a future reference, I might ask for a private roll. So that way you do roll. You are rolling it. <laughs> it's just only I can see it. Uh, so we have a 7, a 22. And while someone is uh, trying to look for you guys, is... you're, not, you're not sure if you're seen or not. Vega, you hear a rustling. Uh, Kane and Arbalist to get into position. But you do not hear a response, Vega. Can I see the man from where he's hiding? You know if you direct your attention towards him. He doesn't know you. You know where he is. So Arbalist rolled high enough that he didn't react to Arbalist seeing him and pointing him out from a distance. So you know where he is, but you also know not to point that out. I think I'm going to point it out. Oh, okay. Uh, how so? Uh, I'm going to lift my sword to point it at him and then turn my attention to him. Hi! I'm looking for Mark. You don't look like a Mark. Already incredibly brazen of you. As you do that, the individual does indeed take a step uh, back and out of the bush. Now you can see them uh, much more clearly. This is a catman. It is a catman. It's a catman oh, wielding, catman. wielding an axe. And they, they look towards you, say, you're looking for a mark? Yeah. Uh, a kid, I think. Well, Mo a mo mother's looking for him. 
Oh, that sounds most unfortunate. I don't believe I've seen one or a mother. You didn't see anyone run by? Unfortunately not. I do see you, though. Very strange that you're here all alone. Do you have any friends? I might have one or two. Are they shy, not wanting to say hello? Uh, I, what can I say? I tend to charge ahead. I'm not sure if you're foolish or brave, then. Probably a bit of both, I'm gonna be honest. Nothing wrong with that, as you're greeted with a large smile. <laughs> so, uh, why are you hiding here? Oh, just looking about. I was, oh, wait, you said, you said a child, right? A small human child? That's right, small, like me. Ah, well, you're not small, you're quite large. A human, like, humanoid like me. Ah, I understand. Well, you see, I am to stand guard over said human child. They are currently uh, cornered and hiding in that little tent to your north there, you see. Mark, if you're in that tent, can you poke your head out, please? Oh, no, Mark can't do that. Mark will get hurt if he does that. The, te the tent shakes a little bit. Uh, now I'm going to glare at her. And uh, why is that? Well, simply, he's a hostage and he must listen to what we tell him, yes? So, oh, that's how you want to play it. All right. Um. Are you here to rescue poor little Mark? Obviously, I'm looking for him. Uh, can I kick the tent beside me? Is it big enough to kick? Yes. Well, like, 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 I want to kick it like so it falls. Uh, you very much can, yes. Okay, I wish to kick it. All right, you give the tent a good kick, and it is mostly empty. There's a sleeping bag, and there seems to be a backpack in it. It collapses pretty easily. Uh, does the cat respond? Looking at you like, what are you doing? All right, I'm going to walk over to uh, this one and do the same thing. Cat puts the axe on the ground of like, you have something against tents, I assume? It also collapses. Oh, I'm checking for more friends. All right, I will. Uh... <laughs> Speaking of, can I do like a perception check to see if there's more people around now? Uh, if the situation changes, I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> I will walk to the next tent. Okay. Kick it. All right, that one also collapses. Hmm, six tents, one cat. Kick it. Also collapses. And uh, this one, because this, this is the one that was wiggling, right? Uh, that is the one that has my, my friend in it, yes. All right, well, I can't kick it. And as you get closer to that one, uh, the, the cat does indeed take a step towards you, as if to say, well, you're not going to kick that one, are you? I'm actually going to swipe at it with my sword to uh, maybe see if I can peek inside. When you say swipe at it, what do you mean? Um, like a horizontal slash just on the outside edge to make a slit. Interesting. All right. As you do, your great sword cuts easily into this tent and it strikes something incredibly hard as you feel your weapon smashed upward and away from you. You do indeed still have it on you, but you are now face to face with an individual that is... Not heavily armored, but clearly ready to play. Is he kid sized? Ish, yeah, he's kind of short, but he's not a kid. Is is there a kid behind him? There is no child behind him, and you just hear laughter as I ask all of you to please roll the initiative. <laughs> I don't wanna. Can I say that my stealth roll is technically my initiative roll? They don't know where you are, so uh not that stealth roll, it'd have to be a new oh. stealth roll. Uh is your stealth higher than your perception? It's I think the same. It's the same? Okay, so you then you may choose. Um, my perception is one higher. Why is it one higher? Actually, it's one higher now anyway, because I have uh, the thing you roll, scouting. Oh, yes, indeed. Which it already added. Nice. I believe that added one. Oh, did it add it added to you? Yeah, it gave me a circumstance bonus of plus one initial because I'm currently scouting. Hey, so, nice. So does that say plus one to everyone, your party, or just to you? Uh, I think it's just me because I was currently scouting. Okay. Unless they were also scouting, I guess. It's up to them. I would say Kane was. I, I won't give it to Vega only because she's up in the ship. Yeah. I will give it to Kane though. All right. I guess that makes sense that you rolled a 13. For initiative, we have a, a 20, 17, 13, 11, and 10. Vega rolled a 13. I guess that makes sense because you get your weapon uh, smick smacked. But Arbalist, you are indeed in position and ready for combat. Combat. Nice. And the best part is. I have already marked this guy. Indeed. So I can just shoot him now. Like, out of nowhere. Uh, wait, ooh, that's not true ooh. entirely. And I extra have their attention. 
uh, let's see, encounter stuff, what I need to do. Uh, he is marked, so I need to activate my gravity weapon. Weapon. Actually, you weapon. know what, I'm not going to activate my gravity weapon just yet. Is that a focus spell um, or a cantrip? It is a focus spell. Okay. I can only use it once per day right now, so... No, you can use it once every 10 minutes. Oh, is Re it? Yep, refocus takes 10 minutes. I thought I couldn't refocus because I don't get that. So if you 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 should you should have the ability to so to my knowledge everyone can refocus as long as you have a focus point. Oh, I thought it was specifically like if you have a focus skill and I got it from a feat, so I need to the feat needs to say I can refocus. I uh, thought but for for now mm, up to you. Yeah, for now I'll say you have it. We'll check later. Sure. Because I I want you but, using the cool stuff. I guess I will also gravity weapon yeah, myself. You, you guys got cool shit. I, I want to see you use it. Gravity. Give that to myself. Nice. And shoot the cat. Oh, that's a hit. Don't hurt my cat. Oh my god. Uh, is that all the damage? I feel like I'm missing something. It did not add the gravity weapon damage, I think. Because oh. I hadn't, didn't have it on me, I didn't have it selected. Okay, then it, it, it does that plus, plus two then. So I think if I shift yeah, click. So 13. Adjust damage, two. 13. Hey, there we go. Alrighty. And I'll use my last action to, you know what, I'm gonna move up a bit. Well, do I know? No, I'm just gonna start reloading already. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. Vega, this shit goes flying and strikes Cat. You just hear Cat go, ah! As they begin looking around very I clearly, laugh. very clearly panicked. This came out of nowhere and almost knocked them out of the fight. And suddenly, you hear the Cat and the individual in front of you say, They brought more men! Everyone, come! And with that, Vega, suddenly behind you, ooh, an arrow whizzes over your shoulder, and then suddenly, a second arrow comes flying towards you. This one strikes you. And all right, all right. And it sticks into the back of your shoulder. Uh, did the animation show where that came from? It did. Damn, that's annoying. Okay. It did, yeah. Well, good to I know. Mean, I guess it makes kind of sense, but... It does, yeah. You guys, you guys will technically see it. All right, two arrows go whizzing by you. That was a crit miss. Yeah, it was a crit miss. And... Must that do anything, then? Uh, no, uh, currently no, but sometimes when you critically miss, something very bad can happen. Uh, already, with what, that... It, it didn't hit his friend? Damn it. No, it did not. There, there are uh, critical hit and critical miss effects. I have them turned off because they can be annoyingly swingy for you guys. And I don't want you to be like, you hit your friend and they die. Because that just sucks. <laughs> uh, moving forward, uh, Vega... Let's see. Mm, prior to Cat moving... Vega and Arbalist, both of you take a hero point. Vega for being so ballsy, and Arbalist for kind of helping her set this up. Yay. Uh, Kat is unaware where that bullshit came from, as you are completely uh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. And I can right now use the seek action, which because we're in combat, that's going to indeed be one of my sneaks. Um, I'm going to choose not to, though, because Vega's right there, and Kat can just move in. The cat will rush to the other side of you, Vega. This is bad. Swinging the great axe over and I, down I, onto I really you. wish I had a melee friend. Alrighty, you're unable to dodge this as the axe comes down. You just barely block it, but it nicks up against the side of your arm. And she brings the weapon up this time. Critically striking you. Holy shit. Uh, goodbye, guys. Why do you keep getting crit hits at like five health? And all right. I, I love how I apply that to you, and it, because I have your token <laughs> clicked, it freaks out and I can't see anything. Do you know what my screen looks like? It's pitch black, right? Because you're blind? Not necessarily pitch black, but kind of. Yeah, it, it's like super dark and you can like sense the people around you. Yes. Yeah, it's super weird looking. I, I kind of like it. Uh, after this quick action of a strike strike, the, the cat folk begin to kind of look around to uh, effectively see where the fire is coming from. And Vega, roll me a... What's it called? Recovery check. There we go. It's under utility. Oh, no. Uh, can we quit? No. I, I would like to resume next week. Uh, but you can. Hold up. So up to you, if you wish. You can use a hero point if you want. You remember that? Uh, don't I use all of them? Yes, you do indeed use all of them. You can spend hero points to avoid death. You can do this when your dying condition would increase, which it would increase by two. Bring you to three, which is bad. You lose the dying condition, and okay, I, I'm changing this slightly, but I'm gonna read it. Uh, you lose the dying condition, and stabilize at zero HP. You do not gain an increase on your wounded value from going down in this way. I personally think, for two reasons, they're called hero points, so I think it'd be more heroic if you stood with one HP. I think it's cooler than zero. 
specifically if you're using a hero point, and because there's only three of you guys, the game's a bit harder because you're, you're, you're missing that fourth person for, as you said, flanking and other tactical things like that. So if you want, you may use, yes, all your hero points, and you'll resurrect with one HP, and you will not gain the wounded. Up to you. Sure. All right. So you stand with one HP. Go ahead and drop all those hero points. What does this look like, Vega, as you are felled by the cat? Um, I go prone and then I pop back up really angry. Alrighty, your stamina shocks both cat and swordman. Okay, so how many how many actions is that? I'm 90% sure that's just your turn, but... So I, I can't run? I'm gonna go ahead and say... That will be one action. I'm ninety percent sure you don't get anything after that. But all right, I'll, all right, then I'm I'm done. I'll say standing was one action. You can you can have two more, just because we're we're still messing this trying to figure it out. All right, well I gotta pick up my stuff. Is it one per item? Yes, you did only, drop your only your health items, I believe. Your your sword, like sword or shield. Your sword, yeah. So pick up sword. Yep. And run. Alrighty, as you get ready to move, uh, prior to you moving. Uh, Vega, I, I will give you this for free and allow you to decide. You can tell that the individual with the shield was primed to strike you, basically waiting for you to move. Well, I you have to run! You can step. Yes, yeah, so you can do a five-foot step if you want. That, that, that's not going to benefit me. I'm just going to run. Okay. Well, at least you're closer to potions. <laughs> in, in, yeah, that's, <laughs> that, that's a very good point. All right, and this is next turn. one of the few creatures that has an attack of opportunity. He misses! Holy shit, all right, yeah, you skedaddle, and he actually whiffs. As you stand, you duck under his blade, it just whizzes right above your head, and you're able to scoot away like 30 feet. Damn, nice. Yeah, if I just stepped, I'd get flanked again in two seconds, so there's no benefit to that. Yeah. All right, game. I mean, it's balanced around you, step out of range, and then use an action uh, to move. Yep. You'll be fine, right? You don't need my help. <laughs> she, she can... Should he drink her own potions, I guess? I, I'm only chipping over imaginary sticks, no problem. You'll be okay. Uh, you can go make yourself a target. They don't know where I'm at, right? I'd be looking this way, though. Uh, you're not sure if they know where you are. I mean, I still haven't technically seen you, so... Yeah, because you rolled self and I rolled perception, but I cannot tell you the result of that. Yeah. Uh, I was going to try to distract them, but it's fine. Instead, I will just uh, zap one of them. That guy's near death. I'll just go for this one. I'll use all three on this. Not the two-round version, though. Okay. That's a miss. Oh, no. A miss by one. All right. If it misses... Oh, you can use your hero point. This is an attack, right? Not yeah, a save? An attack roll. It's an attack, yeah. So it, I believe if that misses by three, I forgot. Does it... If it misses, it does half damage. So, yeah, you can reroll if you want, or you can take the half damage. Your choice. Sure, I'll try. Why not? I just have to uh, roll above 10. 50-50 chance. All right, there we go. 14, baby! All right, 21, that's a hit. Oh, not a great roll, but could be worse, I guess. All right, lightning arcs over this fool as he kind of just like, Argh! and uh, begins to like prep his weapons to move towards you guys. That, that was your three action one? Yeah. That the, was big one. the big one, okay. I could have done three, two rounds, but... Uh, not on people. That is fair. Alrighty. And, uh... Um, frost Elves also get 30 feet of movement, or is it just more, uh, whatever the hell elf came I is? took a nimble feat, which gives me 35 movement. Oh, nice. Yeah, she's, she's actually very fast. And because of that, uh, this actually take me multiple turns just to get to you. So, 25 feet, one Thank move. Thank God. I literally need to use two movements just to get to you. Thank God! <laughs> He can only hit you once, which is just enough, certainly enough. Shh. Weapon raised high, he charges for you and strikes down again. Oops. Another critical hit, unfortunately. I want to play next week! Oh, clearly you don't. I know, right? The dice disagree. Alright, it's okay. Technically, that's, uh... Oh no, that's not double damage, right? I'll have to double check, but as you are downed... He puts his shield forward. He's not actually raising it. He's just kind of aiming at you, Kane, looking towards you. Ready for combat. What do you do, Arbalist? 
Well, I don't want none of that, but I also know that there's one more, so I can... Can I do a... Is it a perception check to, like, find hidden targets in a general direction? Uh, that was the seek one I believe I showed you. All right. Uh, where are you seeking? Like, in the tree behind Kane, basically, that area. Basically, just roll perception. <laughs> oh, the, the GM attempts a single secret perception check. You, you can, yeah, just hold a control when you roll it, basically. Ooh, very nice. Oh, nice. It even went private if I click that link. Oh, you clicked the link and it went private? Yeah. Hell yeah. So now even I don't know. Alrighty, and I don't roll against that. That's just against his uh, stealth DC. So that's something I really like about the system. I don't need to roll against things. It, let's say I have a plus five. That means that, that means that DC is a 15. You take it and you add 10, which is really nice. So whatever you rolled, I'm just comparing that to his, uh, his number. So uh, I will say you do succeed. You're searching for a creature. Any undetected creature becomes hidden. While you're hidden from a creature, that creature knows the space you are in, but cannot tell precisely where you are. Okay, so I can reveal the token. You see in a tree off to the northeast of where you are. You can't really tell like what they are, but you see someone with a bow. You know they're in that space up in the tree. So hidden is... Do I, can I drag hidden onto him? I don't think I can. Let me say. I can. Haha, there we go. All right, so he's now considered hidden. When you seek the creature, only in precise senses, so blah, 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 you kind of do the general direction, that's fine. Uh, a creature you're hidden from is flat-footed to you. Oh, that means if I shoot you, you're flat-footed. I didn't know that. That's cool. <laughs> um, and it must succeed on a flat 11 check when targeting with an area. So basically, if you to try to attack him, you have a half chance before you actually roll to miss, which is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because you know the square they're in, but not exactly where they are in that square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I right know now. he's in a bush, but I don't know where in the bush. Maybe. Yep, that was only one action. Exactly. Uh, how far is Vega away? Too far away, sadly. So the only good thing I can do is finish reloading, which is one action, and then shoot the guy. And I'll also, I don't know, shout out to Kane that he's in the tree over there. Okay. As I shoot the... What is he? A knoll? No. Uh, the one next to Vega? Yeah. That's a hobgoblin. Are Hobgoblins also so overtuned in Pathfinder as they are in uh, 5e? Uh, no, everything in Pathfinder is stupidly balanced, to a fault. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. Because otherwise the crit would make a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> I, I got lucky. I, I rolled a 20. That, that was actually two nat 20s. A hit. Nice! A hit! Roll me damage! Man, I'm very consistent on hitting 20s, though. Uh, yes, but a strike. Jesus. Uh, oh. What?! <laughs> See, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, hitting very hard. You rolled an 11! Okay, so... Yeah, yeah, I did. All right, that was your third action. Uh, so as you're kind of getting this shit situated, you hear more shouting coming from uh, the bushes. I do want to say I killed him non-lethally. <laughs> oh, you, you want to say non-lethally? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't, so... I don't necessarily want to straight up kill them. <laughs> Perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Uh, as with our other games, I will allow you guys to non-lethally dispatch somebody. So he's out. Maybe it's somewhere in his like neck that didn't kill him, but he's pff, thunk, just gone. And the individual that's like stuck up in the trees is, is looking for you, uh, Arbalist. I'm actually going to go ahead and have him uh, do that. What is your, what is your, <laughs> what's your stealth modifier? Uh, plus six, I believe. All right, plus six. So that's, that's a 16, meaning I fail. So he's looking around. He can't find you, but he did find one individual uh, prior to all this bullshit happening. And he's going to go ahead and... All right, that did not add flat footed, but that is fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right, the arrow whizzes by Kane and just barely nicks your shoulder as he knocks another and fires it off at you. You take... A staggering one damage and then zero as the second one misses you. Apparently, this guy has absolutely horrible aim. Fortunately, Why you guys. Guy... You have a minus two to his. <laughs> uh, don't, don't worry about it. It's a, it's, it's a modifier I have. It's, it's okay. All right. Uh, seeing all this bullshit go down, uh, Lad fell and more shadowings coming from Catfolk. Uh, Catfolk just turns and gets the hell out of here. And they're going to run uh, 60 feet further out, <laughs> just uh... sprinting into the woods. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. I probably shouldn't have been able to add all the damage to my hit. That's fine. He, he, he was close to death. It's okay. You, you, uh, yeah. No, more so meant like he wasn't my hunted target. We, yeah, but uh, for, for reference, yeah. the first die would have killed him. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just That's the first die. Still fine, then. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. All right. Catfolk just runs. All right, Vega, recovery. In fact, they, they, uh, they drop their weapon and just sprint into the woods. I mean, he's still technically tracked by me, so I can track him. It's fine. All righty. A success. Uh, I believe that means it reduces your dying by one. 
Oh, that's what it says. Reduce. Oh my god. I can read. Reduce your dying by one. You're no longer dying, but now you're wounded. And you're at zero. You'll Alrighty. be fine. Kane. I will. You, you, are, you are correct. The cat do be running, though. Uh, so if, if you're trying to target fine. the individual in the tree, you have a general idea. Oh, actually, hold up. Uh, Arbalist went to look for them, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. I so did shout the general direction, but he does not know. Wait. All right. I'll let it work this time. Uh, point out is technically an action. So you would have to use another action to say, hey, he's, oh, the, it? he's it is, but uh, you, did, okay. you didn't know that, so it's yeah. fine. I'll say, Kane, you do, you do know where he is. But for future reference, pointing out is an action. I mean, is pointing out, like, specifically saying where he is, or can I still, like, so, say, like, he's in that general direction? I'll have to double check, but to my knowledge, pointing out would literally just take your same role and let him be hidden to Kane, basically. So, oh, Kane, okay. if, you're tar- okay. if you're targeting him with any spell, you have to roll a flat d20 and basically get an 11 or higher. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Hidden's weird. <laughs> uh, you can try to scope him out first if you want, before you roll, to, like, fully reveal him. Sure. I, I, have to roll I, I believe perception. he's... Yeah, I believe he's currently just hidden. Just, just roll perception. Is that an action to look for him? Yes, a, an action would basically be using the seek action, which has you roll perception. No need to relink sync, because it's, like, nine paragraphs. Uh, but to my knowledge, if you fail, basically just nothing happens. You look and you cannot find him. And that would be a fail. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay, well then, uh, I can't now, hit him then. AoEs, you don't need to aim those, but if you're doing a directly a direct attack, uh, roll me a flat d20, and this is, this is not an action, this is just pure luck. Like, I, if anything, I would say, like, he's in, one, in that tree over there, so, like, take a pick of one of those trees and AoE them, <laughs> or roll a die or something. Yeah, so if you have AoE, oh, well. uh, hidden does not do anything. You can hit him. I don't have an AoE that I want to use on him. I was just ah. going to, like, throw a rock at him or something. <laughs> Uh, well, I moved and looked for him, so I don't have enough actions. Oh, you moved? Okay. So I can't. Okay, so, for reference, Vega, you don't need to roll again, because you, you just went. The reason it put you where it did is because when you get downed, you actually get put in the combat tracker before the person, which is why it put you where it did. Why? Uh, to give you a chance to get up <laughs> and run away, so the same guy isn't just hovering over you, basically. So someone downs you, you get to go before them, so you have a chance to get up and run away from them, so they can't just hover all over you and just whack your corpse, basically. Okay. Yeah, it's for balance. Uh, so, we're back to Arbalist. Like, I think technically we can also do something about, like, switching or... Or, like, I can say I want to wait. Yes, you can always and, like, delay. Lower my own, uh, lower my own initiative. But that works, too. Well, since I don't know exactly where this guy is anyway, I'm not going to reload. I'm going to take two actions to walk all the way over here, behind this tree, hopefully. And then I'm going to feed fake a potion. That's also an action, right? Yep, that is one action. Ew. Alrighty, you are now awake again! Um, Vega momentarily considers maybe, um, being level one again sucks. <laughs> you think? Uh-huh. <laughs> Not moving and ending my turn, I will shield Vega from further shots, I guess. Alrighty. The, uh, the individual in the tree... I mean, I assume I dropped stealth at this point anyway, so... You can definitely see, yeah, I mean, you, you uh, you're looking at his target effectively. And, well, this generally isn't going so well. Um, I'm T-posing in his direction. Yeah, said tree folk is going to go ahead and reveal themselves, and now you all see them. They jump down from the tree as one action, and they use their other two actions to just book it into the woods, which is going to be approximately 50 feet outwards to the east now. And then the cat folk will go another 90 or so feet to the north. Yeah, are they fine. running? He's still my hunt prey. I can track him. Yep, they are running. All right, Kane, as you see them all booking it, what do you do? Hmm. There's probably more of them. Uh, How far I mean, away are they? The, yeah. uh, the guy in the right, you're not sure because he ran into the woods. The one in the north, though, oh, God, from you, he is whatever that is, plus 90, 70, about like 150 feet. Oh, yeah, I can shoot him away. once, technically. Yeah. That, oh, you, I can. I'm not it. <laughs> Actually, no, I can't. Uh, yeah, well, no, I can. No, you can. <laughs> It's, it's, it's gonna be rough, and he's gonna have uh, some cover because of all like, the trees, but... Yeah, I'm going, like, warp my balls across, like, 15 trees. What was that movie? Wanted? I think it's Wanted. Were they curved like bullets? The weird curve yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Wanted. Wasn't Angelina uh, Jolie in that? <laughs> yeah. It's such a good movie, honestly. It's so like, dumb, it's I love a, it. It's such a shit... <laughs> yeah, it's such a stupid concept, but it's such a great movie. Oh, uh, it's great. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kane, do you do anything? Uh, I don't think there's much I really can do. Okay. Everything's too far away. That's how, my, how far do my javelins reach? Not that far. Not far. I mean, technically, you get the uh, 
building up disadvantage. It's not great. Yeah, it's not listed. <laughs> yeah, it's minus two per uh, <laughs> per range increment, so it's not great. All right, so you say you do nothing, Kane? You can come help me aid uh, in uh, treating yeah. Vega's wounds, I guess. That's basically all, all you can I can do. do. It yourself. Uh, what's the role for that again? Uh, uh, aiding or treating? So, treat wounds. If you guys are, are, you, are, you, are we basically done worrying about the guys then? I mean, assuming there's nothing more around away. here, yes. Okay, because for reference, it takes 10 minutes to treat somebody's wounds, so he'll be long gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, for most people, at least. Okay. While, while one of you is treating my wounds, the other should check out the tents. I want to know if the people who were here were using the tents. Yeah. So, because you can critically succeed on a treat wounds, who actually wants to be the one to treat wounds? I think Kane and I both have the same thing, so... Plus five on matter. medicine, yeah. Okay, yeah. so then for aid him. Yeah, so for medicine, Arbalist, roll roll a flat medicine check, and because the DC is fifteen, if you beat a fifteen, King gets plus one. Uh, no normally aid is twenty, but for lower levels, I'm lowering it because holy shit, you're not going to get a twenty. That's insane, especially level one. So just roll a flat medicine check. That's right. an eight. Unfortunately, no aid, Good but that's fine. I'm going to reroll this. Okay, <laughs> yeah, sure. Like, I have so many hero points. Yeah, go for it. He does okay, better. So All right, King, you, you get a plus, get one. A plus one. Yep, you get a plus one. So. A, a utility, treat wounds is right there. Oh, there we go. Oh. She dies again. I rolled a one. You did roll a one. Oh, uh, that does hurt me, doesn't it? That does, you unfortunately. Can, you're back down. Do you have any more hero points? Uh, of course yes, not. I have one. I have one. <laughs> no, I'll use one to re-roll it. Like, oh, if I yeah. can use mine for that, I'm not sure that you can share them or anything. But because, I'll just manually roll a d20 plus six. Yeah. Because you're aiding him, I would normally say yes. But we'll, we'll let him use his. Are oh you kidding God, me? Two ones in a row. No! How? <laughs> I said I want to do this next week! <laughs> I'll use my hero point as well. Okay! <laughs> if you roll another one... Do, do I also need to roll a 1d20? No, Actually, no, 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 you're okay, giving it... Right, yeah, I roll it again. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I see K like try to oh. stab an archery and a stopper, and I see her do the other <laughs> hand as well, and I stop that hand as well. <laughs> oh my god. So Vega yeah, we're basically you're playing a whack-a-mole with Vegas arteries. <laughs> god <laughs> there's a meme that hero points are actually just have a free critical failure. I can't believe we just saw that like twice. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, screaming way. Okay, go ahead and roll me 4d8. Because that's a critical success. You need to get a 15, you got a 25. 48. 4d8. And we can extend this. Woo! Uh, you don't need to. She doesn't have much health. <laughs> All right, true. All right. Uh, in 10 Again, minutes. No yeah. Normally we can say, like, we're going to spend an hour on this and double yep. the health. Yep. If you, if you double it, then you can you keep healing her, and then Arbles can walk around for an hour. And those two are basically stuck for an hour doing that, but you're free to walk around and do your thing. Uh, so, realistically, you, you helped initially, and now that you see that Kane isn't murdering Vega, I also believe it removes wounded, because I'm fairly I certain. one wounded, at least. Yeah, and she only had one, so it is now a Gaonu. There we go. So you are uh, fine and dandy. You're doing great. And uh, during this time, in these 10 minutes while Kane is wrapping up Vega, not actually murdering her Arbalist, you can walk around and check things out. So in, in these 10 or so minutes, sure. what, what you doing? Um, well, the, the guy is still tracking. I'm still tracking, so I'm going to, I don't know, I guess track this area to see where, where they walked. So are you checking out the general area right now? Yeah, basically okay. these tents. All right, I will reveal... I'm not sure if I get to add myself to that, but that's fine. Uh, I'll reveal one thing to you, two things. So you guys didn't uh, get near them, but as you're looking around at these tents and such, you can see that there was a, like a, like a, a trip wire, both to the east and to the west. The one to the west mm -hmm. is still intact, but the one to the right was kind of half on, half off, because it was running like through the tent. And Vega knocked the tent over, so she kind of screwed with it. So you find two trip wires near the tents, at least. And there are rolls to remove them, but you know where they are, so you're safe. Uh, and in terms of the tents, looking through them, all the bags and such are full of just filler. Just like rolled up cloth and rocks. Are there any indications that there was ever a small child here, though? Nope. There are actually no indications that uh, any people were here. All the bags are full of garbage, basically. It might have been a trip after all. Uh, let's go back and find that lady. I'm gonna wring her neck if she's fake. Well, she might also be part of the missing people. 
And well, actually, how, how long does my uh, mark last? I'm not sure if it says. I was about to ask you that. I have no idea. I mean, it d doesn't say it's a duration, basically. Like, I, th I think it's, yeah, I think it doesn't technically have a duration. Yeah, if it doesn't have a duration, I would say it lasts for the day, probably. Yeah, because I can also use it outside of combat to, like, track a prey, but without knowing what the prey is, apparently. Yeah, because you, it, were you to keep tracking him, you most definitely could. Yeah, uh, but I mean, in... I've shot him once. I've yeah. almost killed him. Oh, yeah, I mean, he was, yeah. <laughs> I think it said basically dead. <laughs> yeah. If it says nearly dead, I'm pretty sure it's, like, below 10% or something. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, looking around Arbalist, this looks like a fake camp, effectively. This is a fake camp, technically. <laughs> We can try to find the lady, but I think she's already gone by this point. Or we can try to find the cat guy. Well, let's go for the lady. Uh, also, what are you doing with the hobgoblin, Herbalist? You uh, basically knocked him unconscious. All right. Oh, we can bring dead. him with us. Yeah, he's not dead. He, he is unconscious. We, we have a rope. We can tie him up, right? Don't ask if we have a rope. Yeah, but do I want to waste a pot on him? Inside no. ropes. <laughs> you can <laughs> tie him up wounds. with my inside ropes. All right, I approve I this one. I my inside ropes. We, uh, you know, we'll threaten him with letting King treat his wounds. Done. See, the problem is I have to be touching my inside ropes the whole time. Uh, okay. Touching them doesn't it, mean you have to have your hands on them, though. Um, uh, I mean, basically. You can put them in your mouth. Uh, that wasn't what I was expecting you to say. <laughs> Even I don't want to go there. I was just thinking put his foot against it, but yeah, sure. <laughs> Vom. Alrighty, are we tying well, this individual up? Yeah, now we have hostage. <laughs> with my inside ropes. Like, we can bring him to the, the point where we go, we're going to meet up with the town folks where people were missing. And go like, uh, this might be one of the culprits. Deal with him. Alrighty, is that where the uh, route we want to go? I think Vega wanted to go find the woman, if she was still there. Yeah, I mean, we can detour real quick, it's not that far out of the way. Okay. Yeah. So we can, we can do this uh, relatively quick. As you guys head back to the road, you see that the woman is long gone. She peaced out. He was in on it, huh, bitch? By the time... <laughs> God, you uh, dropped it with uh, such... I, I'm going to remember her face. I got a good look at her face, right? Yes, I did, because I was, I was getting bad vibes. If I see her again, I'm going to strangle her. You did do a vibe check, this is true. With, with Kane's ropes? Yes. Yeah. I have to just hold one end of it, but then you can use the rest. It's 50 Done. feet of inside ropes. No, you, you basically ate her with strangling. Sure. <laughs> this is a relatively thick boy. So by the time you bring him to the road and look for the woman, she's gone. He begins to stir and kind of wriggle about. Very clearly tied up. He is not going anywhere, but he is awake. Good. I have him tied to my back. We're basically facing outward so that either of them can interrogate him while we walk, I guess. We're going to a town, right? Or a farmer's, I don't know. Yes, you guys are going to a farming village. Yeah, that's okay. That works. That is a I very... assume there's guards there or something. <laughs> that's a very intense effect. Oh my god. Look at this poor guy. Poor chained up guy. There's so many chains on him. Oh my god. Does it need four layers of chains? Yes. That's four layers of inside ropes. Exactly. I mean, inside ropes are very long. Yes, 50 feet. Exactly. It's 50 feet of inside rope. Yeah, that's a whole. That's so much fun. That is so much fun. Everything you can have. except his mouth is tied up. So basically, much fun. Yeah, I mean that. That's just there's so much room for activities. <laughs> the problem is if he bites the ropes, they disappear. Yes. So fortunately, they're not in his mouth, and he's kind of wriggling back and goes, "Ah, who are you? Where are you taking me?" Justice and justice, technically. <laughs> Am I dead? I've been murdered. Not yet. You haven't. Mm. And I smile. The afterlife is lacking. You're not dead. <laughs> Yet. You're not my judge. You're not, ju you're not judging my soul. Mm, out here in the woods, I might as well, honestly. That I am merely restrained? For now. Unfortunate. And he kind of just like, wiggle, wiggle, uh, strain, and then limp. I see. And he just kind of submits to his fate, occasionally wiggling, hoping to get out. And these are some very tight inside ropes. After about another... Uh, I'm really, I'm really bad with time. That's like, that's like the one thing I'm absolutely awful at. I would say, I think it actually tells you travel speed. Hey, cool. If you're, uh, you guys' speed's like, eh, probably it's like tw 20 or so feet because you're carrying a boy. 
uh, miles per day, 16 miles per hour, two miles an hour. Oh, wow. See, God, thank you, book. Thank you so much. Uh, seems about right. Yeah. OK, cool. It's about an hour <laughs> of walking. <laughs> so we are not in sundown, but we're getting there. You guys finally arrive at the village and it's relatively small. Pretty much what you guys were expecting. Uh, it, it, it's good, I would say, man, five, ten miles away from the actual uh, core of Torello. But things look, things look fine. There's, there's no, there's a standard like gate, but there's no walls. You don't really see any guards. Uh, this place, after kind of, you know, giving it the uh, good old up and down, you can see why people go missing if bandits or something are the cause. It doesn't look like they have a, a militia of any form, uh, nor do they have any guards or really anything, like I mentioned. Mm. But you no do see some people. or anything either? Not that you see now. The, the, this place seems strangely undefended. And they kind of give you guys a wave before you arrive. And someone rushes up before you guys actually like full on enter uh, the village. Because you guys are carrying a, a very strange package with you. And they go, yeah, hey, hello there. Uh, what, what, hey, sorry, I have many questions. What is that? Uh, this would be a bandit. Oh, my inside ropes. Oh, hello, Inside Ropes. Uh, what are you bringing the bandage into our town? Uh, for now, questioning. Oh! Honestly, oh. we were here for the uh, people disappearances, I believe. Oh, bless you all, bless you all. Oh, finally someone's answered our call. We've been asking for ages, and they I, I, I think they've been ignoring us. Well, we were way late by this one, and we might as well, well we figured maybe he's related, so, you know. Oh, ah. Uh. He looks very heavily armored. Are you able to s strip that off him? Uh, should be easy enough. Yep. All right, all right. Uh, I raise my sword. Uh, do we have anyone uh, wh anywhere we can uh, store him? I, I was just... There don't seem to be any godmos here. No, no, we don't really have any. Uh, we were just... I, I was thinking about uh, where to put him. Uh, well, come with me then, come with me then. We have an unused silo that we can lock him in. Uh, not many animals and such are, you know, stored in there and such in grain, but is uh, currently unoccupied. Uh, when I said unarmored, why did you draw your sword, miss? Uh, are you stopping me from killing this thing? Oh, uh, please, no. I mean, yes, don't kill it in our village. Uh, fine. I mean, if, if, it's, if it's a bandit, I, you know, I can't say I care for them, but I would prefer blood not be shed here. I will sheathe my sword. Ah, hey, thank you. I, I appreciate it. I mean, you can give him a good smack or two, but, you know, send, I punch him. T take his armor and send him on his way. Maybe we can, I don't know, turn him or something. He doesn't look that bad. He's just kind of wriggling in place and says, yeah, see, he's not really fighting that much. That's because he knows he can't escape. That's probably because you kicked his ass. There's three of you and only one of him. Um, I will, um, he pretend I didn't hear that comment. Yup. Mm hmm. Whistle. Yup. Play dumb. Well, he had friends, but they abandoned him. Oh, as bandits do. That is quite sad, actually. Poor little guy. Uh, anyway, and he kind of throws the, uh, the the doors open and says, uh, after you strip him, uh, did you actually use your inside ropes, by the way, Kane? Of course. All right. He's, uh, he pauses and looks at him and says, what is he tied up with? Me. Uh, Don't ask. Let's worry. go. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. I'm not. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, magic types are weird. Sure, sure. You were sent by Torello, yes? Yeah, the LaGraves. Oh, I know them. All right, well, I I'm not going to watch how you guys do what you do. I'm going to be in... He turns and points around the corner. I'll be in that little home over there. Uh, you can swing by and have a chat with me, and I can get you with the village elder. How's that sound? Sounds great. Uh, excellent. And miss, please don't stab him if you could help it. I make no promises. Oh, I, this one promise I need, I don't want you to just murder him and then leave. That would be awful. It wouldn't benefit me to murder him, I, but I still make no promises. Oh, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but okay. She's not going to stab him. Or I'll tie her up in inside ropes. <laughs> I shudder. He kind of walks over to the little hog goblin, pops him on the head, like just like pat, 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 a little too aggressively, and says, you be good now, all right? Don't make her stab you in the face. I think she's being serious. He just kind of nods and goes, right, of course. Uh, the uh, old gentleman turns, looks back at you guys. He's very much focused on Vega. And then with the door still widely open, in fact, he pushes them a little more open to make sure people can see what y'all are doing. He, <laughs> wow. He, he walks over to uh, his house and he kind of sits on a little, you know, rocking chair that he has on the porch. And he just, uh, ah, and he looks in the window and he's calling for a drink or something. 
And the hobgoblin is just sitting on his ass, wrapped in inside ropes, just looking at you guys. <laughs> what do y'all do? <laughs> Wait, was he not going to call for someone? Uh, he, he said he'll he'll, no. he'll he'll get the village elder. It looks like he was calling someone inside the house to like help him. Um, I mean, we're putting this guy in a silo, right? Yeah. So he he showed you in the silo. There's somewhere like where you'd uh, like leash up the horses so the horses don't get away. There's a couple hooks and chains. Not chains. Sorry. There's there's places for chains and hooks where you can basically tie this guy to the wall effectively, so he won't get in the way. A leash, basically. Yeah. I'll okay. basically tie him with like the ropes behind his back on the hook so he can't like I don't know jump out. Should, should we take off his anything? armor? Yeah. Would you it's guys good. like the honor? I'll have my sword ready in case he tries to run. Uh, I'm not sure he won't try to run. <laughs> it's weird, actually. Like, I don't remember much of my past like at all. But for some reason, it's weird that one of his kind would be a bandit to me. Uh, for reference, Anami has a long sword, a short bow, hide armor, a wooden shield, and some arrows. So you guys are able to strip all that and kind of toss off the side. I think Tech can give them to you guys, but... It's not very good. Game, I mean, so. I don't want any of that. So. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 I, it's I'd, prefer, I'd prefer to sell it. We can like sell it. Yeah. Yeah, you, you technically can. Uh, I'll throw it on one of you in a second, <laughs> but I'll, I'll keep it on him for now. And he is uh, stripped in his skivvies, just kind of tied to the wall and looking at all. He says, are you sure I'm not dead? Do, we Do you really a little bit? think this is hell? If it is, it's very boring. Exactly. Wouldn't that be a form of torture, though? No. Are you sure? Yes. All right, he was barely hanging on, so you stick him, and he just like, Ugh, oh, and just kind of leans up against the wall. He's he's not like knocked out. Uh, I look admiringly at that pun. I really like uh, you two guys. I'm pretty sure my strength is like nothing. <laughs> Literally hit him for zero. Days, yeah, I'm pretty sure I hit him for like nothing. <laughs> Perfectly <laughs> average. <laughs> Excellent. And as you, uh... <laughs> oh, it actually does damage. Nice one d four. Excellent. And you rolled, you rolled max, all right. You you maximally punch him for uh, an average, an average lad. Down he goes, and as you non-lethally, finessely, agilely, and unarmedly take this boy out uh, over the way, you see uh, a woman waving you guys down, looking to probably be uh, about in her forties or so. And uh, as she waves for you, it looks as if this is probably the village chief. And the old man's like pointing to her, like, "Oh, that's her, that's her." And we'll go ahead and pause there. <laughs>